Fuck you, bitch. Yo, she's got a gun. <laughs> Where's my fucking car? Yo, what up, player? Hello. Meow, 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 meow. Of it that Alexander River was the I... initial supplier and cu current supplier of uh cocaine to these pugs. No, no, I probably have to uh reach out to Alex to get some of that cocaine. Are we sure? Well, oh, it's, pugs, it's it, it will have, have no like, effect on humans, they have like notorious yes, the, bad the, the, breathing the, problems. The, the pug Yo, cocaine my... was originally it's... developed to help with uh... the breathing, which it did backfire. Uh, and just caused uh, aggression and hyperactivity, which is which is why the Rottweilers in the city are so aggressive. Currently. Oh, okay. Haven't well, you ever yes. heard the phrase "Don't inhale the retail"? The pugs know what they're doing. Well, you know, the speaking of dogs, all my dogs are voting for Mayor Max again Woo! for mayor. Damn right. Yeah. Damn right. And That's you know me. what? Oh, mayor Max is gonna do something about Ruff. this pug cocaine. I'm gonna kill in all North dogs. Hills. Kill all dogs Damn and give right. the cocaine to wow. us. Wow. Find out more and about the, the pug cocaine <laughs> crisis and uh, dogs stealing your V-Bucks at infobattle.org. Okay, <laughs> yeah, that right. sounds good. Yeah. yeah let me check that Infobattle.org right supports Maximilian Yo, Darby. Can I convince you guys to find people, drive them here, and tell them to vote for me? <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, no, no yeah. problem. Yeah. Sick. Sure. So all find, right. not all right. kidnap, right? Yes, no kidnapping. Right. Um. Cool. Sorry, Amber. Every, everyone, okay, spread hey. out. Mission yep, voting yep. begin. <laughs> go, you go, can go. count on Slick okay, Rick. Not no kidnapping. Okay. No, seriously, no kidnapping. <laughs> seriously, no kidnapping. Okay. I'm not. This isn't a joke. <laughs> Where the fuck is this? The apartment? Gotta go! The fuck? Oh uh, no! Clown gang or some shit. Yeah, bros. Uh, what happened? Oh, the elevator jam. Those elevator, things aren't yeah. built very well. Yeah, that thing's cursed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you see his bones right here? Look at his bones here. Come on. Yeah, his Yo, nice car, by the way. Oh, who are you guys voting for? Uh, this uh, is Archie was, Archer was guy. No prison. Archie Archer guy ran up on me and like dropped the pants like in a, a drive-by and said, "Vote for me, vote for." Me. Yeah. I low-key don't want to vote for him. Don't though. vote for uh, vote for me, bro. I'm the mayor already. <laughs> yeah, you sold you sold uh, me easy. a couple grass grenades a couple. 
weeks ago. You know what I'm saying? So, yep. low key. Also, no, know, debtor, might... debtor's prison isn't happening. Don't worry, Mr. Cloud. Good. See, then you got my vote. Yeah, oh, the rest of the rest of clowns are voting for me anyway. Because I made mines that's illegal. That's what I mean. <laughs> and that's why. Ooh. That's hi, why Amber. Oh, hi. How's it going? Oh. Hey. Oh, what's that? Who, who, who are you Santos great again. <laughs> Mayor? Yeah. Well, you, of course. Ooh. That's why you're my favorite she doctor, Amber. Oh, uh, thanks. I'm going to come to the thing so tonight. Uh, is that in like three hours? Yeah. Yeah, the debate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, cool. Not Billy. Hey. Yeah. Perhaps I can help solve this dispute. Yeah. What what dispute? I don't know, is it? We, we, he, he says he's not willing. We don't have a dispute. Oh, no, no, no. I was talking on the phone to my friend named Billy. Oh. Hey, you guys yeah. voters by chance? I I Max, I talked to you literally last okay. night about getting ordained. Oh my god, you look way fucking different. Oh, your face! Your face is fucked up. <laughs> oh, do I need a mask? Uh, okay, I have to go get a mask. What up, what up, my, my what up Robert? What up, Robert? I haven't, <laughs> I haven't, I haven't been able to get a hold of uh, Sony yet. <clears throat> yeah, nope. I don't think he's been back in the city. Yet. Who's your friend? Uh, I'm this Neil. is Neil. He's a Pleasure hitchhiker. You, mate. Lives in a tent up in Polito and walks to the city every day. Really? It's I'm tough. not kidding you. Yes, he walks to the city. It takes him like two hours. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, what am I voting for? Me. Max for mayor. Okay. What do you stand for? Um, freedom. You got my vote. Sick. I mean, I, I assume as a as a walking man, you probably appreciate the freedom of the open. Road. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Can't beat it. <laughs> uh, <sighs> do, what do you need as a hitchhiker? Out of curiosity, what really grinds your gears? Okay, you're eating moldy corn. <laughs> 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 Yeah, he gets what he can, you know. He don't make wrong, too much money being a hitchhiker, so. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. What do I want? I don't know what I want. Yeah. I'm happy with everything. Yeah. Courtesy of me. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe not 100% me, but. You know. Uh, yeah. What do you want, Reverend? I want to be ordained. That's basically it. I want Reverend to be ordained. Yeah, I'm working Thank on you, it. Thank you, Neil. Yeah, he is. I trust him. He's a man of his word. Yes. Oh, less luring oh, too. I had a question about okay, you. What's going on in the, with the uh, uh, no, 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 I mean sewers? What's going on in the sewers? Yeah. With, uh, uh, so uh, we're oh, doing. Shit. We're gonna get legislate a month long sewer pass that is, I guess, mm -hmm. paid for with like the coins you find down there. I knew it. I knew that's what Billy was talking that's about. Fucking why? That's what he was talking about. Oh yeah. Right. Okay. Thanks so much, guys. You got it, bro. Bye, guys. Ooh. Thank you. No I love you. No yeah, have a good one, man. Ah! Sorry. We need a car. Stat. Let's get a ride from this guy. What up, Osvaldo? It's not Osvaldo. <laughs> I didn't know. Yeah, I literally just said, what up, Osvaldo, to a random guy on the street, and it wasn't you, and then you <laughs> Hey, what's, uh, hey, no, nah, I just, that's funny. Um, I just wanted to say, hey, good luck on the race, buddy. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, I already, oh, well, no, I haven't voted hey, for you, but I'm gonna go vote for you in a hey. little bit. Uh, well, are you um, actually voting for me? Uh, you actually I mean, look pretty good leaning the on the only, car. I'm not going to lie. Out of all the candidates, you're the only one that's ever interacted with me, so. Well, I appreciate that, man. Hey, yeah, hey, I mean, could I possibly catch a ride with you guys to the apartments? Yeah, for sure. That's I'm where not, we're I'm, going. Perfect. What? Sick. Sorry, I'm, I'm talking to him. Oh, oh. All right, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I mean, nobody else has, has really spoken to me, so, you know, that matters. Cool. Yeah, I mean, I love talking to people. It's always been that way. Well, uh, even if it's making fun of you for liking Disney too much. <laughs> now, see, now you're making me second guess it. Oh, is that Osvaldo? I, I'm, yeah, it is. Uh, see, the guy, oh, the, no. the guy that I'm in the car with, Osvaldo, uh, he's a clown. What's your name, sir? Stumbles. So, I, I'm in the car with Stumbles right now. He said, oh, is that Osvaldo? <laughs> yep. Yeah, everybody knows you. I'm the Disney knew. guy. Yep. Pretty much. Uh, look, I Osvaldo, do me a favor. Uh, Osvaldo, I'm just nagging you, man. I hope you know. I, I need you to do me a favor if you want me to vote for you. What? 
I want you to twat out Disney's the greatest company. No, no. Lying. What's a movie, Disney movie you hate? Um, I really don't like Frozen. I want you to say Frozen's the greatest Disney movie ever made on Father. Oh! Ah! Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, my you saved my life twice okay, today, man! Holy I'm shit. going right now to go vote for you, buddy. Thank you as well, That would have been so bad. bad. That, that was all. Hey, you know, you know what would make this up to us? What? 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 Sorry, Oswald. I'm talking to other people. Oh. You guys voters by that, chance? Is that my mayor? Um, it's me! That, it's me! Hi, Max! Hey, I am oh, a Max, voter. yes, I definitely voted for you. Yeah, see, that's the thing. You yeah. know, I, I, I talked to, you know, a bunch of people who, you know, did. What's her name, ma'am? <laughs> what, what the fuck? My name? Yeah, yeah the, your the, name. The, the, the one Chanel? The, the, no, no, the no, one no, that no, no, killed no, 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 the other one. Chanel? The other lady. Wait, what? Oh, my name's V. V what? VJJ. So, did you vote for Archie? Yeah, your your bosses. Uh, Wait a second. Hmm? How do you know this? Your boss. I know this because you gave me the most half-assed. Oh yeah, I totally voted for you. Wait, I didn't say that. Mm -hmm. I haven't even voted yet. I said it. Cookie oh, said that. Sorry guys. So yeah, was that was that an assassination attempt just I, now? Is that what that was? No. <laughs> no. Kind of seemed like it. I kind of seemed like I'm just saying. <laughs> Um, if you're with the company, I the company, not voted yet, company but he me. has asked me to vote for him. Archie said yeah, he, 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 he's good at pestering people. What so. What do you offer? Um, Wait, who well, do I give that well, to? Yeah, who you, stole guys, it? you guys who look stole like masked Mary up Cheese criminals, movie. right? Right. Yeah, so you guys do crime. Oh, wait, I saw I saw, me. I'll give it to I saw you V at the, yep. the crime academy. Oh, yeah, I was there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I don't know. That's what I offer. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> you got my vote. My, that's my mayor. I, I was a, I was a, I was a sponsor, and I organized the Bolingbroke expedition. Ah, okay. Oh. Um, hmm. Your support would be appreciated. Uh, and uh, I'm can glad. We get, can we get get out of jail free cards? So I have no power over that. Ooh. However, what Ooh. I can promise you is that I legislated a very powerful pardoning system that allows any one person to appeal. To the council of eight slash the mayor's office in order to have one full police incident pardoned which is like way stronger than pardoning has ever been so what Wait, i can really what i can promise you is that if something ever happens to you and you're a felon all of a sudden and you need that incident uh reviewed or whatever uh you can always come talk to me and i will try to make it happen for you oh wow can i, can I get all of my felonies dropped so it, it like that's that's where it becomes hard right because if it's multiple incidents then it's gonna be really hard because I can only pardon one incident. So, right. I mean, are you guys all felons? Yeah. 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 Well, one thing. I only have one. Well, one I only have seven, one. Unlike seven counts. One I've other. One. Damn. One other, uh, one other thing I did legislate is uh, if you're claimed for 30 days, you can get an expungement for uh, $50,000. Oh. 50K? It's cheap. Damn. That's it's cheap. cheap. That is it cheap. is cheap. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not going to bug you guys too long. I know that um, you guys are probably doing something before. We almost died. I'm sorry, Mr. President. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Mr. President. Almost assassinate you. It's all good. It was good to meet you guys. I'll vote for you. Same. Thank you. Love you, Mayor. Voting, yeah. Voting's open. Oh, oh, okay. I'll, we'll go do that. We on our way right you know, now. Rose got, got persuasive fucking they're, methods. Well, you know what I'm no, saying? No, no, no. They're not voting for me, dog. You <laughs> silver tongue devil. They're not voting? You. Oh, they lied? Yeah, they're uh, capping? One of them's lied in there. I think it was Chanel. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Sick drift? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Uh, listen, bro, you ever need a show for bro? Just hit me up on the yellow, man. Word? Yes, sir, bro. I'm hopping out. Oh, Thank you for the ride. All right, bro. All right, Stumbles, you have a good one, bro. Don't fall out of elevators. Good luck with the mayor shit, bro. Thank you. Ah, oh, shit. It's going to fucking door. Yay! That was convenient. Hello? Hey. 
can't tell if you're talking to me or if you're talking yeah, to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm talking to you. I'm, I'm talking to you. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, no, you're good. Yo, you vote yet, bro? Uh, I actually rescued Siobhan the other day, and she told me to vote for you because my name is Max and your name is Max. So I said, good, good, that's all I need to know. What's your, what's your last name? Relay. Max Relay. Oh, well, what do you do? Yes, sir. Uh, right now, a lot of towing. How did you save my wife? So she crashed her bike mm-hmm. on the highway. Classic. <laughs> and I saw a smoking bike, yep. and I stopped and looked around, and I saw her. Well, so I brought you to the hospital, saved your life. <laughs> well, Max, thank you for saving my wife, and thank you for voting for me. Um, I, Absolutely. I'm honestly very grateful because she crashes that thing like a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Says you, bro. Every time I crash, it's a backflip, dude. Whoa! It actually is surprising to me how many people I pull up to, and they're like, "Hey, Mayor. Hey, Max." It's actually crazy. Like the majority of people I pull up to say that. Yellow. Hey. What up, Windsong? Hi. Hello. What's um. Up? I just got asked to like come campaign for you and shit. Yeah, well, you. But I don't uh, know if I'm voting for you, man. Wait, why not? You haven't accepted my business proposal yet. I have. I oh, have. You did? Yes. You did? Wait, what okay, you did? So here, here's here's how it <gasps> works. Okay. Joey. Wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Let me double check that actually. Uh, okay. Okay. I hope this got like really up. So it, like hopefully you didn't just give me wrong information. And I'm gonna like cry. Did you submit it to my wife? Yeah. Um. Okay, I'm gonna call her real quick. Okay. Hey, Hi. did you approve Winsong's business? Uh. Did we approve that? Yeah. I don't I think I, I'm pretty sure we did. I don't see it in the thing. Okay. Okay, and it's not even on the ones that we had pending. Oh, she just sent that to me, so I hadn't transferred it yet. Oh, okay. Uh what's it yeah, for? She, like, it's the used furniture stuff. Yeah, that shit's approved. I love that idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Thank you, Bill. Well, my pl- Back Yo, so hey. I remember. I, I remembered uh, we talked about your business, and it was a yeah. really cool idea. The secondhand furniture uh, <clears throat> shit. Uh, so I approved it to you because I know that it's a great idea, and I know that you will run that business well. Um, I, I ha- will. I haven't looked at your proposal yet, but I highly doubt that there's anything in there that's gonna make me deny it. So you are approved. Okay. I'm approved. Okay, I'll campaign for you then. Let, let me explain how this process works. Okay. Because right now, we are bottlenecked by the state. So basically, the mayor's office, me, I review business proposals, and then I send them to the chief justice for final review. Or it's not even final review, another review. And then the chief justice sends them to the state, uh, and then the state will go back and send them to the chief justice, and then the chief justice sends it back to me. Okay, right now, we are. We are I have sent everything that has come across my desk, be it uh, anything that's been approved, to the Chief Justice, and I presume that he has sent it to the state. But we haven't heard anything back from the state yet on this stuff. So okay. there, there is like a, there is a state of limbo right now. Okay. <clears throat> that said, um, until it is possible to actually get a business license, which it's not right now, like people can apply for them and then you can push them through certain, like, uh, parts of the process um, you can operate a business uh, even if it's technically not legal for you to do so just because we are trying not to punish people for wanting to do something like that when the, the capability isn't there yet to actually legally do it so basically what I'm trying to say is if you if you are ready to 
start operating your business, you should do it. Uh, without uh, being afraid of getting in trouble for doing it. Okay. Well, I, I, yep, I was afraid of doing it. I heard that, like, you shouldn't do that if you haven't been officially approved or whatever. But if you're saying it's okay, I'm going to do it. Yeah, I'm going to make a little announcement right now about that, actually. Oh. All right, Winsong, I appreciate it. Uh, any and all help. Um, I'm glad that we yeah, made amends I will use with each my other. Forces to get you elected again, and I really hope I don't regret it this time. Uh, no, I think we're on the same page. Okay. <laughs> Good. Um, thanks for the Good. price build four months ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, anytime. <laughs> uh,. This seems to be written better. Go to senior buns. Okay, why? Because I got a call that there is a group of people who are interested in voting for you and they want you to write and would like to speak with you to close the deal. Okay. Okay. Close the deal. That's why they clo me, call me the closer. This thing handles better than a scout. Voters question hey, marks. Wait, who oh, the fuck is that? Here he is. Hi, Max. Hi. Hi. Oh, uh, Andy. Probably not. I don't know if I'm gonna vote. Oh, He's disappointed hey, me. Voters? Yeah. Hello. See, I What's told you again, he would dog. Be Wait, is voting he happening right now? Come. Yeah. Yeah. I have concerns I like to raise. Oh. Is that you, Wayne? Yeah. Oh my god. What up, Wayne? Um. Yeah. Hey, Sean, I, you know I, it is. I'm running for re-election. Um. Would what happened to Scotty? Very much appreciate you guys considering me. Yeah. Across the wall without using the I voted for him and I feel Blame good. It has nothing Wait, to do with the crosswalk. What? Do, do we, what uh, do we call an ambulance for him already? Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. Yeah. Did they, uh, they said they're they were on their way. Yeah, they said they were stuck somewhere, but they were going to get on their way once they're unstuck. Sick. All right, I'm going to go get my bike soon. Yeah. Right, right, right. Not using hey, whose land stalker is that? I have no clue. Which one? Uh, this one. It's a ranger. Oh. oh. Shit. Why do you keep doing that? You do that with my car, too. Dude, I, cause I, I, I was very excited that I learned the name of that SUV. Oh, my God. You have an SUV blindness? Yep. Hello? Hey, sir, I got a question. Uh, I'm a potential voter. Okay. My question is, what do you got against yeah, boat truck drivers, man? Like, the okay. pay is like the lowest in the city, huh? Wait, how, how do you, I mean... 
the the base pay for towing has been lowered stateside. What what happened in Hawaii? Um, well, there was a period of time there where towing paid out um, twice as much as Group Six in. Uh, I mean, I would agree with that. And grime. <laughs> I, I, why is it at the bare minimum though? You know. What do you mean? Hey, I don't know. Supposedly, me and my tow truck colleagues, they're like, "Don't vote for Max." I think you're doing a good job, but they're like, "You lowered the pay to the very lowest, man." I just want to know why. You know what happened? Um. Tell you what. All of a sudden, unrelated to this whole conversation, I'm thinking it's time the toe got a raise. <laughs> oh, I agree with you, sir. <laughs> I like the way you're talking. Yeah, what's your I'm name? The, the name is Victor. Victor Fuentes. Uh, all right, Victor, uh, let your let your boys know. Oh, oh, don't you win, sir? I'll let them all know. Also, uh, I, I raised it a couple of days ago. I don't know if you guys noticed that. I didn't notice, but uh, I believe you, you know. So, uh, thanks for the call, sir. You have a yeah, good no one. Problem. Mm. Time to bleed the state account even more. So much for picking people up. I'm just doing this real quick. What happens when the state account's empty? No one gets paid. What up, Slick? Well, well, if it isn't. What up, Van Pingle? The fuck are you? <laughs> what up, Ponytail? Dash right. Oh, Chad! <clears throat> Dash right. <laughs> Dude, I got a fucking relog, man. I can't go in any of these doors. Dash right. That shit's cash. Dash right, dash right. I gave Chad Pryo the other day. <laughs> uh, I'll be right back. It's like...
Hello. Odds on finishing Lenny Arc tonight? Couldn't do that in one night, buddy. Lay stick, thanks for subbing. You see for Ed's smear campaign? Yeah, they're doing they're doing God's work. What up, Chad? Dash right. Look me up on Twitter. Dash right. Retweet. Retwat. <laughs> Dash right. <laughs> hey, Duncan. I heard you wanted me for a meeting. Um, yeah, my wife, actually. Yeah, it was an hour ago, so I was like, yeah, I might as well try to call and see what's up. Yeah, well, what's this regarding? Uh, she knows it better than I do. Something about throwing away evidence that she gave you, and then it being found by the people that the evidence pertained to, and then subsequently putting her life in danger. <clears throat> uh, don't think that happened, but I'm sure she wants to talk to me about it. Do I just feel like uh, I should be clocked in, kind of thing? Uh, probably. I gotta go sign in. Hey. Yo. Hey, what did you want to talk about earlier? I was just asking when the debate was, man, and then I just saw the tweet. Oh. So no, half right. Uh, shh. when is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's in an hour and a half, man. All right, thank you, Sonia. <laughs> Make sure you go to bare feet, okay, please. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you look, you. look, you gotta look, you gotta. <laughs> <coughs> Oh, 
Hey, Hi. Max. What up, Piter Man? Yo, I got something that I think could help you. Yo, what? What if I made a popsicle of your face? Would love that. <laughs> okay, well, I already have one done, but I can't, I don't have it to show you because they fucking snaked my booth from me. Oh. Yeah. So I'm, I might have to cut a few people, but just a few, not a lot. Who snaked it? Uh, the, the Papstock guy. Ooh. No, I mean, well, he used Leah to get the information, but. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Leah's on that. She is, uh, like, super on it, and she scares me a little bit, to be honest. She's. Yeah. She she got she's got the information. Um, what if what if you just sold it at a different booth? I, I could, but trying to nail one of those down is incredibly hard. What if I got you to sell it at the uh, at uh, Adam's booth? <clears throat> uh, I would need a place to manufacture them. What's going on, guys? Mm. I love that idea. Okay. I actually have a better proposal for you. I have more of a permanent solution, but I don't, you know, with the election and stuff, it may not be good timing. <laughs> you have my phone number? I do, yeah. All right. Yeah, call me. Call me after okay. election. All right. Okay. <laughs> Monka Giga. Hi, Slick. Oh my god, Australian local. RGB, thanks for taking five subs. Yo, where's all the, the tow driver? Shit. What up, Ursula? Hey, Max. Um, so, Siobhan, uh, Michael, we were having a conversation about who might have leaked. I said, you know, the great thing I have is a good connection with Archie, so I asked him. And uh, it was at a... <laughs> So I want to preface this by saying one, uh, he said he heard it from multiple sources, but Etta definitely told him and she was giggling maniacally, he said, when she did it. Uh, so. Okay. That was how he phrased it to me. But obviously you didn't hear this from me in any way. Of course not. Um, yeah, but just letting you know, that's your leak. You there, know, there, a there, member of the council. Ever tell you how much I like you, Ursula? <laughs> yep. I, I like you I'm a lot. Amazing. <laughs> well, I could always use more fluffing up of my ego. You're amazing. I am. Thank I, you. I fucking hate Edda, bro. <laughs> you know, it's funny because I, I opted. I wanted to get that position. Imagine if I'd had that position. Oh, my God. It would have been so much better. Yeah. I don't leak shit. Oh, God. Which is hilarious, by the way, because they absolutely 100% like ask me questions about whether I'd leak stuff to the news. What, in the interview? Stuff. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, I figured I figured honestly that that was probably a big concern, which I get. You know, somebody with the news, like, can you keep your mouth shut? Right. I'm like, yeah, I'll just treat, treat it like a source. If you want it to get out, it'll get out. If you don't, I won't. Yep. Oh well. Well, shit. I mean, not much. If, if she gets a... Uh... If she gets chosen again for a position, uh, could use that probably to get her out of there. Yeah. Well, good luck with that. If uh, you need testimony, uh, you probably won't get it from Archie. And like I said, I don't even know if 
a hundred percent if he's telling me the truth, but he seems to trust me because I've been quote leaking stuff that's absolutely public knowledge to him. <laughs> he was like, What happened in the meeting? I was like, They talk shit about you, what else is new? <laughs> the over and he's like, the, did the over under thing happen? I said, Nope, sorry. Because this will be live in a day, so it doesn't really matter if I tell him early. It doesn't. It literally does Yeah. Happen. I was like, that's insane. Like, that might... I know I'm supposed to keep my mouth shut, but if that actually became a real law, I think literally no one would let that pass. <laughs> so, I can't believe he believed it. <laughs> yeah. Holy fuck. <laughs> He was really nervous about it. I said, maybe they were going to throw you off, you know, get you off your game before the debate. He's like, oh, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> oh, it was man. amusing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this shit is so fucking whack, man. Hey, at least you got competition of some kind, even if it's minuscule. Give me Vivek back, bro. <laughs> Give him back. <laughs> hey, Toe Guys! I've come here from the mayor's office to inform you your pay has been increased by 25%. Oh, wow. Thank yep. you. Uh, unrelated to that, I'm running for re-election. <laughs> what a coincidence. It was, it was super coincidence. <laughs> what a coincidence. All right. Have you voted yet, sir? No. Would you consider voting for Maximilian Thoroughbred? Talk to the rest of my club about it, but I can see. Wait, what club? Raiders. Uh, Raiders don't like me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They do. So. <laughs> Wait, oh my god, is that Wade? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> me. You're the. I... <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, before you go. Yeah, what's up? Um, I'm sorry for calling you a club hopper, dude. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, that's fine. No, that's fine. Things happened back in the day, man. Things had to change, so. Yeah. It's not fair for me to talk about it when I wasn't even there. I you go, man. It's all good. All right. Uh, it's well. It's all good, man. I'll, I'll talk to him about it. I'll see what's up. Thank you. you know, uh, I'll let him know that's happening. And at the, at, talk again, just reach out. Just yeah. Out. Yeah, I'm down. Um, at, at the very least, uh, these other candidates, I got shit. Um, oh, God. I got to go talk to this guy. Wait! 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 Not you, the toe guy! Wait! 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 <laughs> My bastard. Hi. Hi. You guys toe? No. No. No? Well, no. I, do, I, do we do we look like a toe? I was in games with him. We look like a friggin' toe. Hey, hubcap! I raised your pay by twenty five percent. Oh, that's great! I've never towed. I think I've towed three cars since the city was reformed. I use this as my personal vehicle. Can you raise my <laughs> pay by three percent? And I also tow wait, things wait. and blow them up. Oh, okay. <laughs> but thank you. I voted you, for you. Thank I you. He uses it as his personal vehicle. Oh. Ethical tower. Of course, the one guy I try to flag down that isn't you is Hubcap Jones, and he uses his tow vehicle for for personal purposes and does not tow. <laughs> <laughs> Am I sick? Yeah. Hey. Hey. Hello. You guys need. Oh. I was nowhere near you. I am so sorry. Would you guys like a ride? <clears throat> um, no, I'm good, like, thank you. Right I'm just here. going right to the clothing store. Okay, sick. Thank you so much. No problem. You have a wonderful day. Is my? I wonder if my windshield is is tinted for anyone else.
Greetings. Is that Ghetto Kaiba? Yeah. Yo, who you voting for, dog? Running down the street. Uh, I don't know. I really thought about it yet. What if I could convince you to vote for me, bro? Okay, I'm think I'm listening. Australian Embassy. Hey, Kaiba. Sold. Hey, Max. Hey, Jace. Hey, Mr. Mayor, we brought like five people here. That'll be five dollars, please. Have, have, you, have you ever thought about opening a sandwich company and calling it Thoroughbred? That's a good idea. <laughs> That's a real good idea. Got only yeah. five people. Come on. Come, Come on. on. <laughs> Come on. We'll bring the more. Hell? <laughs> hey, what what the wait? hell do you mean only five? I was going to eat like so much stuff. They're doing their goddamn best, Max. Yeah, I love you guys. <clears throat> Um, <laughs> yeah, we brought I, people. I came here for a reason, but I literally cannot recall now. <laughs> Are you gonna duel that guy over there? Oh, I know. I gotta. I gotta talk to Jenny up there. Jenny, uh, bye. The shredder. Ow! Why'd you run into me? Fuck! Are you okay? Wait, what? Why did yeah, it get in that seat? In What's happening? Oh my god, there's a timer now! Said to run on innocence until he picked me up. But you said, where are you going? Go to the city hall. We right when we were no longer a cop. That was literally everyone. You were part of it. You were part of it. What up, Jenny? Uh huh? What up, Mike? Uh, Max? Did I you just call me Mike. Mike? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. You I'm, I'm, sorry. I'm no. sorry. I have a sore throat, so I'm like I'm kind of out of it. Me too. Yeah. Hey. You, you how's it you going? The, you know the strep throat evolved into scarlet fever. Really? Yep. I learned that today oh. from my wife, who knows random shit about everything. That's cool. <laughs> Joey, who okay. you vote for? He's got a g g g I don't know. You don't know <laughs> after everything I did for sanitation? <laughs> Toe oh, is yeah. currently high off of Wingsong shit, so he's a bit out of it. Oh, shit. I smoked yeah. weed out of a grapefruit bong. Cool. <laughs> and this is Van Pingle. Well, actually, he's not. He's he's the stranger. Sorry, the the, the stranger. Sorry, it's the strain. This is the nice stranger. Nice to meet you. Greetings, the stranger. <laughs> the mysterious <Greetings>. stranger. <laughs> the big iron on his hip. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you got you, you you voter Van Pingle. <laughs> a fucking whoa, vote. Whoa. <laughs> oh, look at that. Here. You're absolutely really cool. Really cool. Uh, he's dropped it. Okay. Oh mm. God. It looks like a toy, guys. You right? know what? Yeah. It's not a oh, fucking it's toy. Not it's not a fucking real. toy. It's quite real. <laughs> it's fucking real. Sorry. I'm sorry. I don't fucking vote. All right. If you want power, you gotta take it. There's only one real way to know if it's real. That's the way of the wasteland. <laughs> yep. Okay. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he was just telling me how your was wife he? was so favorable to him and gave him and she put her ass on my face what <laughs> yeah why wouldn't you like to know i would like to know that's why he's asking <laughs> <laughs> don't ask the stranger questions I'm sorry the stranger <laughs> unless you're prepared for the consequences well, I'm just going to go over there and ask her. Yeah. yeah. I bet you will. <laughs> uh, I Here I go. I think it's, it's, not that, it's not that bad. Here I go. <laughs> no, that's bigger. Hey, Siobhan. Uh, yeah. Did you put your ass on Van Pingle's face? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why did he say you did? Oh, I donated skin from the backs of my thighs for a skin graft for him. Oh. Remember, remember when I was wearing those baggy pants a while ago? Yeah, no, I remember. Yeah, that. Wait, you're the skin graft guy? <laughs> yeah, you, sh yeah. <clears throat> you should ask to see his face. <clears throat> skin graft guy. Yeah, look at this guy's face. Well, let me see. Oh. 
Oh, man. So handsome. Whoa. You think the stranger takes off his bandages for anyone? That's oh, tape. no, I wasn't asking. I just think you look great. <laughs> oh, that's, that's not, thank you. That's tape. <laughs> These Does it are hurt bandages. To take off? <laughs> that, is, that is duct tape. <laughs> oh, you look oh my God. Going. For you. Well, I mean, it's not coming off, so it's, <laughs> at least there's an adhesive. Are you, are you two here to vote by chance? Already voted. Who'd you vote for? I don't think. Who are you? The mayor. Oh. <laughs> oh, I don't think you can ask me that. Yeah, because you didn't vote for me. What about you, sir? Oh, I haven't even voted yet, to be honest. Perhaps I could Voting convince you. Voting is for pussies. Well, yeah. I mean, you definitely could, you know? Uh, uh, so vote for Max, and I'll give you pro bono legal services. Here's for my vote. Oh, but lube services? Pro bono services. Oh, lawyer, oh, lawyer. Oh, oh. Whoa, I thought you were going to lube me up. What about the other one, though? What about the lube services? Yeah, well, whatever, whatever, uh, whatever you need to vote for, Max. Oh, you hear that? Really? Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Mr. Mayor, you got a great guy over here. Lube pro bono and, legal and pro bone for, oh. for, le for legal, yeah, legal pro purposes, bone. I must out loud state that we, I, this man is, does not work for me. <laughs> this suit doesn't fit. Really? I, he seems like somebody should claim, man. He's willing to lube <laughs> anyone yeah. up for you. Your suit don't fit. Uh, what's your name, sir? Fitted. Okay, uh, Wally. Yeah, I think Wally West. Person they should be talking about suits. Uh, Wally West. Wally West. I'm Maximilian Thoroughbred. Yep. I am the mayor. Uh, Max, it's an honor. No, 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 no. Should I get on my knees? No, 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 no. Not to like suck you off or anything, but like, just like. No, don't, don't do that. Um, so what do you do for a living? Um, illicit activities. Well, his job right now is to make me friends. That's, oh. that's that's true. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're, she's, not, guy. she's not going to make very many friends because she did vote for me. Ah! <laughs> I am going to you make. I am so sociable. <laughs> Michael just. Just tell me you didn't vote for Archie, bro. Did you just say you smell him? <laughs> you <What>? did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> Yo. Yo, she got got. It's fine. You didn't know because you're new, right? You're new. I am new. Uh, well, okay. I will forgive you this one transgression when I am elected once more. <laughs> oh wow! Does everybody get one, powerful. or like, yes. is it a is it a per like situation basis? Um, no, everyone gets one. Everyone gets one. I'm a, okay. I, I'm a man. Cool. I got my one. I'm a man who preaches forgiveness. I, I'm quick mm. to forgive, mm. quick to apologize. Uh, Wally. Yeah. Yeah. Do you hate taxes? I fucking hate, yeah, I hate taxes, so especially on vehicles. Yeah. yeah. Same. <laughs> Dude, sucks, right? <laughs> Fuck, super, man. Super taxes. sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling real, real swayed right now. I'm not going to lie. Yep. You're, uh, you're pulling me. What do you What do you feel about, uh, you, you hate cops? Oh, dude, I despise cops, yeah. Me em. too. Yeah. That's why I took control of their whole fucking operation. Damn right. Damn right. Yeah. So, like, the other day when I got, like, slammed into a wall repeatedly and, like, beat up with a baton, like, that was you? No. They're doing it wrong. Hey, 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 hey. Don't should, talk you, oh, gotcha. shit about officers. You should tell me who did that so I can reprimand oh. them. Because I have the, man the power with the bandages to do so. has a point. It's, it, you know what? It's okay. I don't want to be a fucking snitch. Well, that's that's it's that snitching. Real. They're cops. They're not human. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, I just what? would feel terrible, you know? <laughs> I don't think it ever happened. <laughs> Um, yeah. Oh, really? It didn't ever happen? No. Uh, For sure. You're not giving any, like, information. Man. I don't think it ever happened. <laughs> so, yeah. They're not even competent. They kill each other. Yeah. Hey, That's shut the fuck up. Yeah. You don't know yeah. shit. <laughs> I mean, I did meet a friend, cop earlier, and I asked if she wanted to be friends, and she told me directly to make way better than you. <laughs> and then spit on her. Hey, don't let hey, that. <laughs> I'm, I'm so sure. Hey, hey. They're over there Which cop? Oh, I see. I know I smelled them. Uh, Did she sound uh, they, New Zealandish? Fucking that ish. No, her name is Officer I On Fire. There's other people oh, that well, shoot others. Well, you talk to the meanest cop on the force. Yeah, yeah see, go but for I'm going to get her. It. Try it. I will. One of these, like, one of these days, she's going to go, yeah, I want to hang out with you. She, she, it might be years down the line. I, I can do a, an impression of her. Don't talk shit about it. Oh, do it. Oh, God. Yeah, please. No. <laughs> oh wait, that was really good actually. That's exactly how she told me. Well, she said negative. Negative. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Oh, Charles. Holy shit! I thought she was here. The guy I said. Yeah. <laughs> Look, Wally, vote for me, please. If not, that's yeah. cool too. 
Um, the rest of these candidates really don't know what they're signing up for and have no idea how to actually make mm -hmm. stuff happen. Anything that you yeah, yeah. promised by them is based completely on uh, uh, sh their assumptions of how everything works. Uh, mm -hmm. It will be a huge waste of time for the city to put any of these fucking fools in the office. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, listen, I, I, you're the only one who has experience, you know, out of these people. So, like, you're probably the only one I should trust, you know, to have a second term. Yes. Yes. All those other fools don't know what's going on. That's correct, Wally. <laughs> cool. Yeah, you, uh, you uh, the fat it. stacks, vote for Max. Oh? Oh. Can I, uh, can I have a quick word with you, brother? Sure. Just about the, about the mayoral uh, campaign. Yeah. We can go three no. steps over here. Over here, over here, over here. People love to be genuine friends with somebody that Voting's open, Wally. I love you. Yep, I'll take a look. I promise. He has a distinct voice. What up? I've just been uh, speaking to Mr. Simone and Shibon. Yep. Uh, basically, first conversation I had out of the apartments tonight. I've not been up for a couple of days. Uh, I've obviously learned about the the mayoral campaign. Yep. Uh, I don't know you. Uh, I don't know uh, Mr. Simone. I don't know Shibon. Uh, however, they've been very, very um, kind of articulate on on. Kind of the idea of of how um either you or mr simone will uh will be beneficial yeah um, I, I, wore, he, I, he, I i i got very lucky to have uh mike as my deputy because oh he's uh, incredible oh. He's, he's been very very complimentary about yourself um it, it's basically um i want my vote to count um and vote for mike i vote for vote for yourself vote for mike i'll vote for michael mm Mm-hmm. And is that because you believe that the deputy could be could be in kind of jeopardy there, or do you just believe that he deserves a vote because you will win by a landslide? Yep. Uh, the first one. Oh, okay. The first, the first one. Oh right. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and obviously, being uh, being British, there's there's Solomon on. Uh, I, I heard you say there that none of the guys know what they're talking about. He's okay. obviously told me that you, uh, Michael, um, and Siobhan will be them three votes, and then you'll only need one more. Whereas if another person was in charge, it was a joke. Uh, it was a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. Don't just, kill me. It was a joke. Like a man sorry, mate. Sorry. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, you, you would have them votes covered. Um, so you believe that anyone else that would be uh, voted in as mayor would would not be beneficial in the slightest. Oh, you met Daniel. Voted for you. Uh, perfect. Well, I, thank you, Wally. I, I want to do it. Siobhan, Siobhan's been in incredibly complimentary as well. Um, all three of you are, uh, well, I, I've not spoken to you much, uh, Max, but yeah. um, those two guys are, have... Are have... you, uh... Oh, there it is. Oh, uh, my God. All right. That's <laughs> Another Bobby. day at City Hall, boy. <laughs> yeah, just uh, right outside the courthouse, you yeah, know, yeah, just uh, standard uh, stuff, my friend. Oh, you got yeah, kidnapped out of here before, all right? I'm, this is, I'm, this I'm, is the usual. I feel like I'm back in, uh, I'm back in Manchester, back in the UK with that kind of shit. <laughs> And now there's a gun. So I'm not used to guns. Why? I'm not yeah, used to yeah, guns. Yeah, yeah. Let's, say, let's, yeah, go, let's go over here a little bit. Yeah, um, Solomon Walker's a cop bootlicker, by the way. Okay. Not only he's that. He's dating a cop. Yeah, he, he's dating a cop. <laughs> so, Mr. Solomon, I, I, I think the difference is that the Brits, I, I said this to Mr. Simone, I, I believe that the Brits want another Brit so they feel more Brit. Sure. I feel like they'll they feel like they'll be looked at a little bit differently. Well, my, wife, uh, my wife's Irish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. Uh, but I just because <laughs> we're that... so famous for having our great relations with Britain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, great work, Max. Well, it depends. I love, I love it you depends so if you're much. From the Repu oh. you from the Republic? What'd you say? Are you from the Republic of Ireland? I am. Yeah, she's from. Yeah, Kim, understandable. Uh, then. Yeah, she fucking I'm hates us. I'm from Kerry. I don't hate. Listen, I I I used to I used to date a Brit. Okay. okay. I was able to move past it, you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so hopefully, is me, Dad. Hopefully he was northern uh, rather than southern. Look, he was. Look, the oh, thing, the thing about Solomon is uh, he's one of the, the most poorly veiled I'm in a gang, but also secretly I'm not in a gang candidates. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. He, he's repping, uh, what the fuck are they called? ADMC. ADMC. He's dating a cop. ADMC. Yeah, he's, he's he's just a fucking chode, man. Like uh, it's like the most obvious and comical power grab I think I've ever seen, ever. So so he's trying to basically just balance all all, all types of life without kind of knowing which path he really wants to go down. So he wants the top position to be able to kind of dictate whenever he wants, basically. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, he, he wants it I, all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, but like, I think I, I said to Mr. Simone before, I said I said that the easiest way okay, to, to explain it to the Brits is, is exactly the way that he, he explained it to me before, which is you've literally got a plan figured out and you have experience. Yeah. Um, and it's, you know, it's a no-brainer. Do you have any, the you have any uh, I mean, t- pardon me for assuming, do you have British friends here in Los Santos I can talk yes, to? Yes, I do. Yeah, I do, yeah. Uh, <laughs> that would be great. No, it's that's a genuine question to ask. There's not many of us left. That's for damn sure. It's mostly Half Australians. Of us are, well, the Australia, I don't really speak to the Australians. They're, they're on a... I don't really see many of them, but, but I speak to quite a few few of the Brits. Yeah, I've got a couple of the Brit lads um, that just, uh, just chill and stuff. But, I mean, what, what's your relationship like with the British? Uh, I got a pretty good one with the British, I think. Yeah, yeah. I actually have Name, a, really, a really good one with the Australian. Name four ingredients on a, on a British breakfast. Uh, first of all, I love British breakfast. Uh, we're talking okay. uh, tomatoes. We're okay. talking beans. We're okay. talking toast. We're talking okay. eggs, of course. Okay. We're talking blood Wait, sausage. How do you take your eggs? Um, sunny side up. Sunny side up. Yeah, the fucking. Okay, I'll say that. We don't really say that over over in Britain, but we'll, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. Um, well, keep going. Keep going. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Dude, is a, I, is a rogue one there. I, dude, I say this shit to everyone whenever this comes up, but I'm not gonna lie. I've had beans on toast. Granted, it wasn't like Heinz beans, but I actually thought that shit was delicious. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna... It's overlooked, man. <laughs> it's, such a, it's such a small thing that gets so much disrespect for no reason other yeah. than I think I think it gets disrespect it when you are very poor in like Northern Britain growing up and all you can eat is beans and toast. Yeah, I think yeah, that's yeah. where it gets a lot of its reputation from. Oh. Yeah, I personally was... love poor people food. I think it's delicious. It's like comfort food to me. It was really popularized during the war when it was just yeah. in the ration cupboards, basically. You, oh. had, you had a bit of stale exactly. bread that you could kind of just, you know, replenish with a bit of water, and then you'd just put the beans on top. Dude, you know what my wife so, taught me like a month ago? Go on. That, oh, man. that Narnia is a story is about, is a story about kids. Like getting yep. like bombed during World War Two. Yeah, that's what we're gonna have to do at this point. <laughs> like, that, right. that's like they, they like they, they like escape into Narnia because that's happening. Like, yeah, didn't realize that Chronicles of Narnia took place. Hey, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to rewatch Narnia after this. I'm gonna, you are. The first thing, it first is. First thing it I'm gonna do when I go back to my apartment. That's well, that's one of the reasons why Edmund orders the Turkish oh, delight is because right, he's on rations no, and like that's the first thing you could think of was like something under- super, you know. How many times have you watched Narnia, not Siobhan? She's a uh, not, I, no, I, I only watched Narnia once, but see, I'm How a book f- reader, so I wrote, oh, okay. read the Chronicles probably at least three or four times growing well, up. When, when was that, though? How when was the last talking? time I read him? Oh, yeah. 25 Excuse years me. ago. Excuse me. I've got a really freakish. Excuse me. Uh, hey, mm-hmm. where are you guys going? Hey. Uh, inside to see Bobby? I don't know. I'm just following. Bobby Charles? Um, I'm just following Scotty. I don't know why he's here. We just sort of <laughs> got brought along. I, if, you, if you're talking about seeing Bobby Charles, he's in the hospital right now. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah, know. he just got stabbed in the throat. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Scotty. Also, vote for me, please. Did, did you vote yet? No, oh, shit, I'm getting a call. Did you go upstairs and vote? I've not I, done it yet. I've not done it. I wanted to, I wanted oh, to have on, a chat with Max. If, if, you like, if you like me, um... Uh, a lot of what I've been able to do is courtesy of Mike, because uh, he worked with me, and yeah. the that system by default was not really stacked in the favor of the mayor's office. I know that a lot of people will say <clears throat> that it is, uh, yeah. and it only is, is because the only reason it is is because the deputy mayor was and I were so alike that we okay. were able to vote on stuff. Uh, I love Mike. Uh, he made a lot of stuff that was very important during my first term possible. Yeah. Uh, and he needs more help than I do campaigning right now because I'm more personable than him and I'm out there right. and I'm always talking to people. I'm always meeting new people. I always get people walking up to me and like, Hey mayor. And like, I don't remember their name because hey, I, mayor. I, they said this, that, this, that was literally one of the things that we said, we said there about names. Yeah. I, 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 try, what we said. I try to remember as many people as I can. Um, yeah. but it's hard. Um, yeah. hundred percent. Especially it, when you've got fucking 155,000 people going up to you every day. Yeah. Uh, but it, yeah, it's not it doesn't help, does it? That's uh, that's uh, that's my verdict on that. I think. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's literally a carbon copy of everything that he said, but on the opposite perspective. Yeah. So like the names thing, the the likeness. Uh, that was it. I, I said I asked uh, Michael. I said, name me one thing that puts you two apart. If you stood side by side right now, what what would be the difference maker? What what do you have that Max doesn't? 
and and there wasn't really a real answer other than you were, you were very very similar so if you if you believe you know what you told told me to say i, I believe you too because michael was fucking amazing siobhan was amazing and and you've been a you've been a gent so uh my, my, i, I my, might just my, go michael, ahead and do that the, the difference between us um we don't really differ too much policy wise uh, uh, mike likes to um to regulate certain things uh, more so yeah. than myself also okay I, I would say that the main difference is um i'm more personable than him and he's more calculating than i am and it's it's kind of balanced each other out like the whole time <clears throat> so he's more so would you, would you say he's more level-headed and you, you're like kind of he, he kind of balances you there yeah uh, I, right. I, I, I'm very passionate. I lose my uh, I lose I lose my temper sometimes when I'm talking to someone that I don't necessarily think. That's is. because you care. Yeah. <laughs> care deeply. Yeah, hundred percent. You can't force people to care, right? Having That's someone right. that just already does is. You, yes, you can't you can. force people to be logical either. A lot of people aren't logical within within conversations nowadays. So you end up fucking being yeah. like, oh, I can't be fucking bothered with this cunt. It's don't amazing fucking... what you can force someone to do at the point of point of a gun, you know. Well, then, uh, that I took a dark turn there. Yeah. Do they really care, or are they just caring to preserve their vote? life? That's what I mean. I'm here to vote. Yeah, hey. Um, Real internal Perhaps I could speak to you. Just a moment. Of sir. course. Dark person. Uh, 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 you sound familiar. Uh, of course. It's me, Dizzy. What happened? <laughs> uh, one of the vixens hit me with their car. Not a big deal. Uh, well, yeah, I just I, broke both my legs. I've never met these vixens. Never? No. Oh, they're actually quite charming. Do you know the names of any of them? Uh, yeah. They're friends, though. They're friends. It wasn't, like, violent. You know? Uh, all of them. Um, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Is, is that their names? <laughs> yeah, it's like six, seven, they did a bunch of them. Could you put up, set together, like, a meeting with me for them? Uh, possibly, yeah. That would be sick. They're not going to get in trouble, are they? No, I, I'm, I want to appeal to them so that they'll vote for me. Oh, okay. All right, yeah, I could call them. I eat. Sounds good. There's like seven of them. I yeah. just need help with the, you know what I'm saying? When I when I need to do that appeal, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, like, like I said, bro, get that shit together and then I'm yeah. there. Hey, man, these, these fucking cops are out here on dick, bro. Like, I don't know what their problem is, but like... Man, they gave me a fucking point today for a failure to stop when I literally came up to a fucking intersection and there's like local cars crashed out and shit. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, so I go around them and I get a failure to stop. And I'm like, bro, do you not see the fucking whole which intersection like, full of cars? I don't even know which one it was. It was like, uh, see? I wish I would remember their fucking names. I never seen them before. But, uh. The stupid part was while I'm at the traffic stop, you got two fucking people that literally drove by us on the sidewalk. And I'm like, bro, you just let them drive on the sidewalk and you stop me for fucking failure to stop because I tried to go around the road. That's just fucking annoying. But, you yeah. know, I'm like, it is what it is. But uh, it just seems like they nitpick at every little fucking thing, dude. Like, it's yeah. fucking ridiculous. Part, part of the, uh, the reason I set up the quota, quota system uh, for the cops is to dissuade them from doing so many traffic stops and get out there and actually proactively police. <laughs> yeah, that's but, just annoying. But some of them are lazy and they continue doing it. So, but uh, I'll give them a call right now and I'll set a, I'll tell them, I'll see if they want to come down. All right, sounds All right, good. Got you. Uh, seven. What are you doing? Oh. So uh, slow. I got a, uh, a mayor 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 to, uh, Come on, we're going upstairs. What are you guys doing upstairs? Uh, uh, nothing. nothing. Nothing, Mr. Mayor. Nothing at all. What are you guys doing? Expressing uh, my democratic rights. To to do what? <laughs> to vote you out of office. I'm a person. Yo, you're voting me out of office? office? Yes, sir. All right, well, I didn't say anything. Well, it's in get, all him. Uh, no, no, Copperhead, uh, he's the one that convinced me to vote for Archie, actually. Relax, buddy. That's hey, not what I said. Listen, um, hey, I, 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 I don't forget. Who's fucking handwriting is this? I think that's Alan Payne's handwriting. 
<laughs> Already forgot. <laughs> Hold on. I'll be right back.
It's kind of cold in the office, dude. Hi, villager. Uh, oh. Excuse uh, me, man. Hey, did you vote for me? Did you know who that man huh? is? Did you he vote for me? me? Yeah, no one's going to do anything about it because you can just. Have you voted yet? Don't worry. What? Uh, it's open. <laughs> uh, I'm a little frazzled now, but. Don't do forget you, who you gave you a who job. Was running <laughs> at the senior buns. They were giving out free meals. I'd like to vote for them. It was me. Oh! Oh, it's great to meet you, sir. What's your name again? Oh, I'm the incumbent. I'm at the top of the list. Maximilian Young Dab Thoroughbred. Oh! Oh! Oh, the Young Dab! Yep. Well, I'll be voting for you, Sonny. I'll put my vote in right now. Thank you. Oh, you're very welcome. Love you. <laughs> what up, Joey? What the? Oh my God, Joey! Ah! I'm not Joey. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm not Joey. Mr. Sorry, man. Hey, who'd you vote for, Bobby? I haven't voted yet, but my vote counts, doesn't it? It sure does. Are you gonna keep me warden if I vote for you? Well, I mean, it was kind of my idea. The Dogtown is the way that it is, isn't it? <laughs> uh, pillagers. And yes, I did vote for you. Thanks, Joey. I can't trust 95%. Uh, I, can, I can trust almost Simone. You can trust I'm Simone. not interested in... I'm not interested in Mike's rods, his fishing rod idea thing. To get people <laughs> to vote for him. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Yep, you have fun. I think Savan drove off in Seminole somewhere. Hello? Hello? Man, it's Chad, that's right. What up, Chad? Oh, no, I was high and I hey, I, my shift ain't till later, you need that's a ride right, but it? I... Yeah, I need to go to the warehouse. Uh, Mash, you, you listen to me, that's, that's right. I'm that is very I'm serious, I'm that's listening, right. I'm listening to you, Chad. What's up? Okay, I need you to make senior bunch pay dog shit right now, that's right. The minimum you can, that's right. Because uh, they're, they're serving for another mayor, that's right. Wait, who, who is? They're giving out free food for Solomon, that's right. Oh, okay. Well, I'll just come down yeah. then. That's right, that's right. See you down here, that's right. Sounds good. Uh, where? Oh. Yeah, I put it on your chippus. Hey, whose warehouse is this? Uh, belongs to Dex, but uh, he, he ran away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know where he is right now. Yeah. <laughs> He'll be back. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Oh, good thing they can't see me. <laughs> that right what else what do you mean what else 
What else? That ain't even something wrong. That's right. That's not even wrong. That's right. Wait, what happens? It's not wrong. Something about adoption fraud. That's right. Yeah, it's something about adoption fraud. Oh. Did that personally affect you, sir? No, it didn't, but I know that it was wildly unpopular. Yeah, uh, you know, people like to play house. Uh, the mayor's office realized that who are we to stand between two grown adults pretending that they are related to each other? And then we repealed it. <laughs> but it was that same mayor's office that originally instated it, right? Yeah. No, yeah. See, it's actually, uh, you know, I repealed it not because I thought I was wrong. But at the end of the day, <clears throat> it's because I care about your choice to make That's cringe right. decisions. <laughs> well, freedom is certainly appreciated and respected <laughs> in this great city. Mm -hmm. Sir, can I can I help you take your order? Yeah, can I get two burger combos? No onion, no tomato, no ketchup, no mustard, no mayo, no lettuce. Would you like can anything you else on that, cheese? sir? And you want onion? And you want pickles? <laughs> uh, no pickles either. No ch any cheese? And yeah, no cheese, onions. Please. That's right. We don't serve onions and uh, and Ched shift. That's right. And you want <laughs> are you are you offering the pay for me, sir mayor? Of, of course I am. And what drink do you want? Oh, that's very kind of you, Mr. Mayor, but it's actually already paid for by a uh, yeah. different campaign here. Ooh. That's well, what not if right. I, what if I prefer down. his that campaign? No, you, no, you can't, somebody else can't pay for it if it's already paid for. That's not how it works. What? <laughs> yeah, no, the food. Sprunk with one ice, eight uh, cubes specifically. Power hour Got here. it. All Food's right. All Who wants a ride already? to go vote for the mayor? Are you denying us the freedom to choose who pays for our meal? I already paid for it. No, it's already paid. It's, it's one oh three. <laughs> I just okay, paid. Thank for you. It. Uh, the the money will be oh, to your happening. bank account, sir. It won't, because you can't do that. <laughs> oh, okay, watch. <laughs> he canceled the. Order. Did he actually? <laughs> he canceled wow. the. Order. <laughs> Hello, sir. Oh my god. Uh, hold on one second. Let me put your burger in with. Hey cheese. guys, why don't we go shop somewhere else? Come on. <clears throat> You're gonna go buy from Archie's. Uh, that's right. Don't come here. Sure. That's right. Yeah. Oh, don't get that's right. This ship just shut down. That's right. Yeah. Hey, what up, guys? You're there. Hello. Wait. This says I'm a criminal. Don't vote for me. Yeah, you are. Well, who say that? Well, I mean, well, don't Sol say that, yeah. Solomon is in a gang. You guys know that, right? <laughs> I don't know shit. To be honest. Hey, he's in a gang, and he's dating a cop too. <clears throat> Wait, oh, well. At least he's not a terrorist. I'm, I'm, not, a I'm not either. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you wow. mean? No, that's the that's the things I've been hearing. This if I was a I terrorist, know. I wouldn't be mayor because that's a capital crime. I I don't know. They said you were a terrorist. Do you? Why do you believe anything that someone says to you? I always believe the media. They're it, always uh, that's Oh, yeah, that. How? Why would be the honest, media uh, I'm be honest. I'm be honest. I know. I know he was a convicted terrorist, but like yes. that, that's very different. I'm also, yeah, you I'm, definitely should thing. not believe. I'm, you I'm should definitely not believe the media. I'm rehabilitated. Why are you here? How can you be rehabilitated? Can't buy food. That's well, you right. You don't believe that people can change. Okay, the point of our change, but I don't system. believe terrorists can change. I don't want to now, that's well, right. The, the, uh, the reason I got charged with terrorism is because I was advocating for police reform, and I did so with violence. Well, oh, man. Okay, that I can actually respect and get behind. Uh, okay. Damn it, now I know the most. Hmm? I mean, the, the cops are the biggest the, gang in the city. The, 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 the literal reason hmm. I got charged with terrorism is because I released a manifesto that was asking for the... Uh, the then chief of police to step down because he had escalated to such a point on the streets that it was becoming a bloodbath. <clears throat> oh, cops are the biggest oh. gang in any city. I mean, co cops do hard work. Okay. They're great. Maybe. They serve them. Okay, maybe you're a bit more reasonable than I thought. Yeah. Damn it. Yeah, fuck the police. <laughs> the cop watched yeah. me bleed out on the ground yesterday. And uh, as Adam also pulled out, as we continue to serve customers, as if the co the cop was gonna oh, coffee yeah. across. I, I oh there God. was a customer here. Um, 
it was like wearing like I think it was like a motorcycle gang. He said that he witnessed a cop magged up another cop. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Jeez oh, Louise. Yeah, somebody told us that like 10 minutes ago, yeah. Jeez Louise. Like, it's getting really huh? bad down there. Uh, man, uh, and the sewer is not yeah, great. It was, uh, no, so one cop mag dumped another cop. It was, uh, uh, uh Slacks who got shot. Yeah, oh, yeah, good. that was the name. Slacks was the name. And the second person to say <laughs> And the, the guy that was like, it was one of his mates was like, oh, they're doing a service to the, like, there was some, someone one of those, like they're doing a service to the community or something like that. Yep. So have you guys voted yet, by chance? I no. voted Solomon. Oh, okay. No, we're supposed to be working. Yeah, we uh, I've been down here all day. It's been free. hell. And then our uh, boss got way. shot, uh, Wait, like what? right there. Why, that's why there's blood. Oh, yeah. Why, 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 why are you guys working for free? Because we like working here. I, oh. Yeah. yeah, I like the owner. I've worked G6 yeah. a lot, so I don't really need well, we don't like, get money, money, but... Well, I mean, you're supposed yeah. to be getting paid from your boss, like giving yeah, you money. Tips. Yeah, <clears throat> we get paid in tips. Yeah, we get paid in tips. Only tips? Yeah. yeah. Only tips. He's, he's, not, a, he's not giving you a cut? He tips himself. Well, he tips us himself, too. Oh, good. Yeah, yeah. sometimes. Yeah. This but is, it's, uh, so, Adam, it's right? too difficult, it's too difficult um, to be paying people to know when they clock in and when they clock out and everything. That, how many yeah. hours they put in, and so people are paid equally. Oh. Well, that's good. Yeah, well, it's so it's too hard. So it's just paid in tips. That's why the receipt system exists. Oh, well, when do you guys get the chance, um, or you bet. try to head down to City Hall to vote, be it for me or anyone else. Clock, that's right. uh, I will yeah, say I'm, I'm infinitely more qualified than every single clock, person who's right. up there on the ballot right now. Uh, primarily because I understand how the system no, actually not. works. Uh, the promises now? that are being made by Solomon Walker, for example, are... Uh, based oh, not I'm in so any sorry, reality man. that is currently uh, existing. Archie Archer is a power-hungry little snake. Uh, Marlo used ChatGPT to generate his uh, his talking points on the uh, government forum. <laughs> uh, they're all clowns, and I hope that you guys will consider me at the polls. Maximilian Thoroughbred. The mayor. <clears throat> Yay! Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm rerunning. Yeah. 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 I, I, I'm waiting for the debate more oh. than anything. Oh, oh yeah. the, the, the is, is these rumors suit. true about towing? The car got towed once, and then towing paid took a hit. Who'd you vote I for? I hit that around the ocean. Huh? Who'd you vote for? Solomon. Oh. Well, I gotta go, guys. <laughs> I did not lower pay in response to getting towed. <laughs> also, my. Uh, yeah, I will take some food actually. Okay. And I guess good luck. <clears throat> Wait, I don't have any cash on me. Uh, yeah, it's okay. We 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 charge. Yeah. We, we can pay with cards. You just don't pay us. What do you guys got ready? Um, will we go ready? Let's yeah. See. Uh, here. Why don't you take his order? I have to go my How do I tip uh, if it's we, if I don't have cash? You can't. Ooh. And there's yeah. no ATM here. I'll be right back, guys. It's a flawed system. Dash right. Dash right. Dash right. Dash right. Dash right. Oh, why is my window rolled down? Oh. Can you put text to the car that says vote for Max? Nope. It doesn't, uh, move. I don't know how much money I need, bro.
Excuse me. Excuse me. What's up, buddy? You uh, you vote yet by chance, sir? Not yet. I didn't know I started. They told me it was starting in a couple months. No, it, it started today. Oh, uh, today? Yeah. Uh, I'm Maximilian Thoroughbred, the mayor, uh, and you should know that Group 6 pay is 125% of normal because of me. <laughs> oh, is, is it high? I just moved in, like, legit two days ago. Oh, it's super high. I'm pumping a lot of state funds into making sure you guys get paid more. Oh, hell yeah. Well, shit, if you made this happen, you got my vote. Maximilian, you said? Yep, I'll be at the top uh, as the incumbent. Uh, what's your name? My name's Antonio. Antonio, welcome to Los Santos, man. All right. It's where I do one of the pickups, right? At that little city hall place. Uh, Yeah. So there's a, you go to city hall. Have you been to city hall? Yeah, where they got the little voting booths, it looks yeah, like. Yeah, those are the, that's where you vote. Yep. Oh, okay. All right. So I think next time I get my stop there, I'll go ahead and handle that. Uh, word. Thank you. All right, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Hey, uh, try to get in contact with Alex River, by the way. How come that bus is so much faster than the other one we're driving? Someone just text me? Oh, look, do people get to make a vote? Uh, week? Uh, Eve, thank you very much. Can I move the debate up? It's your bedtime? Bro, I don't even know when that shit starts. Half an hour? <laughs> How come that guy in chat has been saying the same thing for like the last hour and a half? <laughs> oh, you say he's drunk. <laughs> Word. Word up. Front runner and technically Matt and vote of Bob Catholics is up. I'm able to see voting results through state command. <laughs> Let's see. Delete if losing. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! Hey, Mr. Mayor. Hey, hey, who are you guys voting for? Max. Michael? Uh, you voting for me? No, not well, me. What about you, Kermy? Kermy better what? vote for Max. Uh, uh, I'm going to be honest. I didn't even know that voting was starting. It started. Who are you voting for? Today. Oh, shit. Today? I'll have yeah. to go look at him. Okay. I'll tell you what. I'll make you a deal. I'll vote for you if you let me go into sewers whenever the fuck I want. I can get trash. Um. Are you like ADHD right now? <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Do you need some of my Adderall, man? No, 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 no. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I have, I have hey, some Kermit, who you voting for? Huh? No, I'm okay. Um, I think, hell? I think it's. Who you voting for, Kermy? 
I think it's okay. I think it's okay if you go down there if you're a sanitation worker. I feel like that's what we talked Are about. Are you threatening my boyfriend right Wait, now with a pipe wrench? The council base. Asked... Oh, okay, okay. Uh, uh, I, I don't remember talking about. Um, Wait, can, can you get off the car this. real quick? We're in the way. Yeah, I would. Uh, I would like to go down there. For I mean, it's just a pain in the dick because you can only pick up one at a time. So. Yeah. I was thinking about doing like a citywide sewer cleanup. Oh, that was my idea. Yeah. 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 The raid. The sewer raid. Oh, oh, yeah. I literally texted you about raiding the sewers. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I mean, yeah, whatever helps. I mean, I don't give a fuck about the money. I'll literally just go down there and give the state the money. I don't give a shit. I just want to clean up the damn like south side. Yeah, I feel that. Because I don't I don't know if you uh, knew this, but all, that picture I sent you, all those circles are either green, yeah. yellow, or orange now. Yeah, yeah, it, went, yeah, yeah. It, get, it got so much better, and the headaches literally, like, halved. Really? We so, could do, like, an old-school fire chain and just throw the bag down the line. Yeah, that's... Could, that's that could work, too, actually. Okay. <laughs> that would be um, kind of fun. <laughs> let's, yeah, the headaches uh, the headaches alleviated a fucking lot since all those circles went from red to orange and like green. Like a relay race for right, garbage? Kirby. Yeah, Kirby, kind of. Kirby, you get me elected, we'll set that up. First week. <laughs> all right, sounds good. Or we all uh, just stand in one place and throw the bags at each other and, yep. until they make it all Wait, the way back Wait, when's your, your thing? Are you having like a thing, to, an argument thing today, debate? 30 minutes. That was... Oh, shit. Oh. Where's that at? The courthouse? Uh, Vinewood Bowl. All right, bet. I'll see you soon. Hi. Have fun, guys. Also, I've reinvested $20 million into sanitation so that you guys are more profitable. Wow. Let's go. Vote for me, dog. Vote of, thanks for subbing. You're voting for VVAC? Bro, you ain't even whitelisted, little bro. Get out of my face, pussy. Excuse me. Excuse me. Is that you, Dizzy? Yeah, what's up? Who this? Max? <laughs> Yo, what's good? I'm trying to get voters. <laughs> oh, I already went. No, I know, I know. But I'm yeah, you got my vote. Don't worry, man. Thank you, Dizzy. Uh, I hit up uh, I, I hit up the whole group, but they said they already went and voted, so I'm not sure they voted for it, but... Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. They rolled deep. There's like seven of them or something like that, so... Word. I don't know how many of them. Excuse me. Do you need a ride, my leg broken friend? Oh, please, man. I. Where are you going? Please. Uh, well, it looks like the hospital. All right, let's roll. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. What's your name, dog? I'm Mike, brother. What about you? Uh, Max. Nice to meet you, Max. I'm getting called right now. But I ain't Popular picking man. it up. Well, it's uh, my my mayoral opponent. Oh shit! You you running for mayor? Well, I am the mayor, and I'm running for mayor. Oh shit! Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't really get too involved with politics. Well, if uh, if you want a safe answer and a uh, no bullshit answer and a low effort answer, uh, I'm at the top of the voting list at, at City Hall. <laughs> okay. Uh, Bro, you got you got my vote, man. You got my vote. Thank you, Mike. No problem. What happened to your leg? A uh, local thought it'd be a good idea to go up on the curb. <laughs> These locals be wilding the fuck out, dog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they just give them the license for free. Pretty sure they eat people. Yeah, I don't know. They're wild, though. Uh, where, where are you going after this? Uh, City Hall to go vote for you, man. Okay. Well, I'll wait, I'll wait uh, right here, though. Oh, I appreciate it, man. 
Destroy sign with telekinesis. Hey. Hello? Let's talk real quick, if you don't mind. About what? About the race. Okay. You think we could, you think we could work something out if I, uh, if I drop out? Um, I mean, what do you mean? What do you mean working out? Like, like, I mean, are, do you want? Like, are you asking me if I'm going to be furious with you anymore if you drop out? Is like that? No, nah, it's no, it's not, it's not that. I mean, sure. I mean, I know I'm lucky enough to keep if if I even get to keep the civilian oversight board position. But is there some other, you know, position that I, I, I could have that you know, that'd be something? You know, um, I'm yeah. just I'm just asking you. I'm coming hey, to you. If you want. To work if I with... drop out and, and endorse you or, or Michael, you know, let me know. If you drop out and endorse me, I welcome you to draft legislation with me and my wife. All right. Um. Okay. It, it, it is not a it, it's not a paid position, but I mean, uh, your name will be on the stuff that you work on, so that's cool. Okay. I. I will, I can announce it at the debate. Uh, if you, look, I, Archie, at the end of the day, uh, we're enemies right now, bro. I know, I know. Um, I, I'm telling you right now, it, uh, two weeks from now, I'm not going to remember this. We're probably going to be cool. It's not the end yeah. of the world. Yeah. I know. I, I, I hate you now. I'm not going to hate you in two weeks. I know, I know. I, I just want you to be I aware. never hated you. Oh, I, look, I know, man, but listen. You, I know. You ha I, it, I'm sorry for yelling I, at you. It's, I, it's fine. It, Arch, it's fine. I'm, I, I'm sorry for yelling at you too, bro. Because that's how I am. I, ap I apologize and I yell. And I. that's how it goes. Uh, but what, 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 fed me. What, what, yeah. What I want you to know is no matter what happens, this yeah. decision has to be yours. I cannot... Oh. Make, no, I, know. I cannot make you do it because at the end of the day, it has nothing to do with it being legal or illegal or anything You're like that. Mayor, huh? What it has to do with is yeah. you being confident that you did everything that you felt like you could do or wanted to do? I don't want you to. Keep, I don't want to keep you from doing anything. I, which is why when you call, is, which is which is why when you called me, you talked to me about the the civilian oversight board stuff. I was like, oh, you're right. You know that is a good point. You know. Yeah. So you know, I'm I'm trying not to crush you. <laughs> no, and I, I appreciate that. I appreciate you not trying to ruin my life. I mean, some other people have. Yeah. Uh, which didn't necessarily stop me, but I don't want to lose what I have currently, and I don't want to lose the people I have in my life. Okay, that's the truth. So just um, do it up, do it if you, if you think that's right. Uh, I I'm not gonna I'm not gonna come at you any harder if you don't. Okay. Okay. No, I know I understand. I'm gonna do it at the debate, and I mean, can they remove me off the ballot? Is that a too late thing? Is is that, you know what I mean? Um. Mm -hmm. I do you talk to I, I feel like I don't know. <laughs> just, just remove me off the ballot and draft all any votes I got to you. There you go. You have my permission. Uh, so I, can, I can't take your vote. <laughs> no, <it's okay. laughs> I only got like two, I'll be honest, already. Uh, no, you got, I, you, got more people, than, you got more than that, bro. Cause I I've had people bust people in, and they also been voting for Max in the car anyway. And I'm, you know. Okay, RT. Um, I don't think we can remove you from the ballot, but uh, I would love to work with you. <clears throat> and likewise, and that's kind of what I wanted to do from the beginning. I know. Um, okay, I'll announce it at the debate. I will see you in 20 minutes. All right. Sounds good. All right. Bye-bye. That was a surprisingly sad conversation. <laughs> Holy oh, fuck. <laughs> what happened, brother? I, I, I feel like I crushed the spirits of, of the guy who was running against me. Hi, Turgle. Yeah, man, fucking Sup, show, no, show no mercy. Hey, I gotta talk to you. Okay, uh, I'm, just, I'm just walking this guy inside real quick. Okay. <clears throat> Mike, thanks for talking to me. Glad your leg got fixed. Yeah, me too. Fuck. Uh, good luck up there. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> What's that? I don't want to go up now. 4,500?
You guys good? Everything good? Yeah, I'm just issuing a hunting license. How are you, Max? Thanks, Leah. Um, I'm good. Fucking... I came in here for a very specific reason, but I have, I'm have i honestly still kind of sick, so I just forgot. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Brain fart. <laughs> yeah, we all been there, pal. We all been there. <laughs> I'm not, you sorry. have been charged, sir, and your hunting rifle is in your profile. You should see it on your phone. <coughs> Dementia wandering. <laughs> Where's the ice cream? <laughs> Where is the ice cream? Yeah, you should join the wasteland. Hmm. Hi, Hi you partner. Are. This is my friend. This is my apprentice. Uh, hi, everyone. <laughs> okay. What are you guys doing? What's happening? Stop running in the city hall. Oh, I just remembered I can't fucking read. Wait, who am I supposed to vote for again? Incumbent. Top guy. <laughs> What does in incumbent mean? I don't see shine on him. The one Where's curly in office. Where's Finley Milton? Finley Milton and Shang Liu are not on there. Why? <laughs> this is a joke. Oh, Shang. I could have sworn I How do I vote oh, for Andy oh. Jones? Can I vote for Andy Jones? Is, is, guys, my man. You, you guys have uh, to vote for someone else. Guys, uh, Where's Denzel Williams? Denzel Williams is on uh, leave. <laughs> what does incumbent mean? Incumbent is the like one currently in office. Sausage, isn't it? Combo. It's, it's the green the one vegetable that currently... goes on like is incumbent sandwich. Um, damn it! No, it means the one Excuse currently me, in office. So you guys, damn. You, oh. you guys. Damn it all. That that's me, guys. I'm the one. No, in office. that's just. Oh, okay. <laughs> sure, because I just want to put my name up, so we all came here to vote for me. Ah. Oh. I voted for Andy Jones. Man, damn. Yeah. 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 You guys yeah. voting for uh, a Solomon? secret hidden answer? Damn. I'm actually voting for what was his name? I voted for Michael. He said he was giving me fishing. I'm not voting for Fish, fish, my fish, vote. fish, fish. Uh, I'm surprised you guys aren't voting for Solomon. <laughs> Why? Well, because you I guys are in the same gang. <laughs> no, that's how I want fish in me. I mean, which is in a gang. Sorry, club, club. Guys, club. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Is he talking about Solomon the lawyer? I'm talking about the guy that's in your club. I'm a dollar. So, We've got a Shang. Are you getting so confused about Shang? You, if you're giving the one the politician money? Excuse me. So many S's. Shang, you talking about the lawyer? Uh, hey, yeah, let me, let, me, let, me, let me give you a ride somewhere, dog. I just wanted to say I wish you the best of luck, man. Yeah, it's all good. Um, At the end of the day, there's something... Something that I, I spoke to a woman very wise, uh, mm -hmm. Turtle, come on, uh, who told me, no matter what, at the end of the day, the most serious candidate wins. And were all those people voting for you up there? Nope. They're voting okay. for their uh, their gang member. <laughs> okay, okay. Club. Club. Yeah, they're club member. There you go. <laughs> I gotta wait for Turgle to come down here. You good. Oh shit. What up, babe? Hey. Yo, yo, Dad, what's up? Because uh, oh, of the debate soon? You wanna do uh, this? Did you get a call from RT? I did. Man. Oh, I didn't even look. Okay. Did you talk Double to him? Oh, he he should be. Yeah, well, we're, we're, we're in 15 well, minutes from now. Hi, Turgle. To him, but uh, it looks like he's going to make the right decision. Okay. And support hey, did you sit on that guy's face? Sick. No. Um, he says you did. Good. And uh, thank you for doing that, Benji. I, he's a good kid, man. And I, I'm looking forward to working with him. I am. All right. Oh. Well, I mean, I told him already, man. Like, it's just the wrong choice. I mean, <clears throat> I don't know how to say this, but sometimes, like, you got to plan your shit out properly. And I feel you, like, he, he just Hello did there, this Turtle, a little I'm bit like... too abruptly. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, okay. So, it's all good. Would you like that? Yeah. Uh, by the way, I submitted the business Turtle. proposal to Shabbat. By the way. Sick. With the, oh, uh, we'll probably check oh, that out later. Thinking, you know what? I thought the right, green. You know what I mean? Yeah, I gotta do the debate in like 15 oh, minutes. Yeah, I'll be there in 15 minutes. I want to see what Archie does if he uh, pulls through properly. You know what I mean? All right. Sounds good. Uh, I love you. Thank you for doing what you do. Um, I'll, do I, I'll see you then. Love you too. See you later, man.
Man, if there's one thing, one thing that running for mayor has taught me is that a lot of people will lie to your face, uh, or they will present disingenuous arguments to you, or do whatever. But there's a couple of people who always have your back. Whenever they tell you that they have your back and they do stuff to prove that they have your back, that shit is fucking tight. Yeah, man, you don't need to run for mayor to find that out, though. That's, That's true. Life. Yeah, that, you're not wrong. Yeah, and you wouldn't know anything about lying. <laughs> nope. Oh, yeah, Mike, where are you going? Uh, you honestly can drop me off right here. Hi. Thank you, Mike. Hey, no problem. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you. Yeah, you too, man. Turgle. Have a good one. Yeah? Yo, catch me in City Hall. Have a good wait, one. wait, wait, Turgle, where are you going? The front? Oh. Um, what do you need to talk about? I, well, what up first? Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. 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 What up? How's your day been, dog? Uh, good. Just trying to wrangle together a campaign. Yeah, actually, Turgle had a thought. Okay. Yeah, so I was thinking something I do sometimes uh last town hall i heard you say something about how people aren't voting for you or a lot of people aren't voting for you because you know they're voting for deputy mayor or something because right. they think that you're gonna win anyway right you know why they think that max what because people like you yeah yeah and with that comes power hi tessa and you see, uh, my people know how to manipulate others. Uh, my people being from Detroit, obviously. The De Detroitians, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, they know how to manipulate <laughs> on a grand scale. Right. Uh, and, you know, you can't do that from afar, right? You gotta get down into their realm, on their planet. And by, by, by planet, I mean inner social circles. Mm -hmm. And, you know, yeah, like I got scout you. them out and, and affect their thoughts from there. Right. People like you. But you know who else they like? Who? Turgle! True. Why wouldn't they? I'm cool as fuck. You know, I was bored the other day, so I stacked 14 chicken nuggets on my face. Cool. That's a Guinness World Record, Max. Is it? <laughs> yeah, it is! Congrats. Thanks. So, uh... uh so what, uh... What, what... What's your point? Well, so... Uh, to get votes and shit... You know, I usually go around the city talking to people and uh, like people, the, the normal people. Because I know you go around, you talk to like cops and shit and sanitation. No, I talk to the normal people too. That's what, you talk that's to what, the that's, people that's that are just that. like living on the sidewalk? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's interesting because I usually would go up to people and they'd be like, who's Max? Never heard of him. <laughs> Most of the people on the street didn't even know you. How? I don't know, but, but, I would be like, I'd get you, I, last election, I think I got you like 30 votes over the course of a week. Okay. On God, not even lying. Okay. So, I think you need more people spreading the word and convincing okay. people to vote for you. Okay. Also, do you have a team like you did last time, like Juno and Penny and them? No. Oof. Well, L. Juno didn't really do anything, so. <laughs> I drew. Here's your ride, my lady. Uh, thank you, Van Pinkle. I really appreciate it. Hey, no problem. Hey, you keep Yo. her safe, buddy, you hear? Thanks. I will. Hey, treat her right. Hey, well, hold on. Why are you getting it? <laughs> I'm you want me not. To... Can I hire you to do I'll this? Go do the thing. Yes, you may. Hey, you gonna be safe with this guy, babe? How much money do you want working for a week? Well, I'll be, I'll be safe. What do you mean? How much Max you got, always keeps me safe. So All right, right, perfect. Right now, uh, I'm running the state account at a deficit, so I'm getting paid zero dollars per hour. I have thirteen thousand dollars in my bank account. All right. <sighs> so. Mm hmm. Are we gonna head up there? Yeah. What would you say is a good? Starts price? in nine minutes. Um, let me put my motorcycle away. Yep. I mean, I don't know. I could pay you half of that. <laughs> I don't, that's about as, as high as I could go right now. Oh, my wife, my wife. Okay. 
No, I know she has money. You know why? What? Siobhan gave Glorion like 15k the other day. Why? You know, he's like a tier three group six cuck. Yeah. You think that motherfucker needs money? She just like handing that shit out. She do do that on occasion. She do be doing that. Oh my god. So yeah, uh... Whatever you want to pay Hi, me Alan. sounds good, honestly. Hello. Where is my wife? Oh. Uh, um, we'll pay you 10k. I'm not hey. sure if you're aware, but, uh... You're in my seat. Oh, let me climb into the back. Oh, let me. Mm, nah. Oh, sorry, man. Perfect. Slowly. Thanks. Um. All right, let's go. All right. Oh, one more thing. If you could stop pissing in the bathtub, my bed, that'd be great. Uh. Okay. You're talking about money. Do you need money? Does someone need money? Because I've got like fifty-five thousand. Yeah. Well, no, uh, I don't. Give her 10k need. for campaigning for us. Okay. Yeah. Um, I just have five thousand dollars cash hey, Alan, on me right now. What do you so do I'm gonna throw that in the glove box. If someone drops out of the race. Yay! Uh, what do you mean? Let's say someone drops out of the race. I'm like, just reach up and grab that five thousand. There you go, hands yeah, on. I can you. remove them. Okay, uh, sick. Reaches uh, over your Archie chest. Archie basically called me and said he was gonna do it. And he's gonna announce it at the debate. <sighs> What do you mean he's going to announce it at the debate? Well, I mean, I guess he's just going to get up on stage and say that he wants to endorse me. Okay, well, uh, sounds good. All right, just letting you know, I wasn't sure if it was possible to uh, actually. Yeah, it's up. possible. <laughs> I just, uh, I, I guess I'm skeptical of the idea of him using the mayoral debate to announce something about him not running anymore. I feel like you just do that on his own, but oh well. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I guess it's because uh, it's like a stage. You know, it's kind of like a it's like a formality almost sometimes yeah. for people who run for elections to do that. Uh, cool. Alright. Alright, I'll see you at the Vinewood Bowl. Alright. Archie's dropping out. Hooray! <laughs> Um, if, I wasn't sure if it was, uh, serious or not, but he sounded genuinely sad and crestfallen. So oh, much, did he? So much so that it actually made me feel bad. You felt bad for him? Uh, I told him if he drops out, um, because he offered it first. I, I wasn't, like, pushing for it or anything. I told right. him. Right. Um, I was like, listen. He was like, he was like, is there anything for me if I drop out or whatever? I'm like, listen, you're going to keep your COB position, probably. Yep. And uh, you are welcome to draft legislation with my wife and I. Perfect. Good. That way he can feel like he's still being hired. That's a great. That's a great compromise. You know, they should call you the great compromiser instead of the great <laughs> communicator. Um, and I, I didn't think he was serious. I thought it was maybe a setup. Um, so I was very clear that like, hey, I'm not paying you money to drop out and shit like that. You know. <laughs> Good. And, uh, I mean, I drop oh, out oh, too. At the at the very end. Uh, of that phone call, Benji calls me, and he's like, hey. "Oh, he's like, hey, did Archie call you?" And I was like, "Yep." Oh my god! <laughs> so yeah, well, I gotta rest my eyes before I go in there. <laughs> All right, here we go. I don't like debates. <laughs> You're back. Real quick. Man, I'd drop out too if I was verbally spanked like that in Hey public. everybody, I just want to say thank you for coming. We're going to get started in like five to ten minutes. Just going to give time to, for everybody to filter all down. Um, and then we should uh, get this going. Just thank you so much for being here. On your next to me. Hello.
Nice car. Hey, nice whip. Hey, yeah, it'd look a lot better with doors on it, but right you know. There. That's local talk. Good job. What? What did I do? Say, hey, nice car. Actually, yep, you get up there next chair. Your girl was it, fucked man. up last night. Love you, Jenny. Thank you. Freaking locals, man. That's right. I'm convinced you're a local. Lily also is convinced she's a local now. Green to nick around. Ooh, yeah, I like it. That's a good skirt. Yes, scene. I don't think that, that like I don't think that gonna work dude. Yeah. Okay, now you're just making jokes. What do you mean by how this means? Like this this one big dick joke to you dude, this is serious. This is a male can be dude. What up? <clears throat> what up? Let me crack, op crack open a Tums real quick, dude. Free drop for something. Dundee is the one that is talking about Bubby. Hmm? Uh, they're writing it right now. 
Well, so apparently Dundee got kidnapped by Bobby and uh, and the other guy that I forgot. Yeah, the name it says Rooker was transporting senior buns to CMC people that were stabbed. EMS need help. Once he dropped people off, saw Bobby Charles held up by Dundee. Sorry, sorry. What up, Mac? Oh, there you go. How's it oh, going? The devil. What it's up, Mayor? Debate time. What up, Uriel? What up, Max? Wait, wait. What up, Cow? You guys were, you guys were Hello, Max. Max. Hello, everybody. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Yo. Uh, very fucking cool. Um, hey. I know this shit is usually kind of boring, so we're, I'm going to try to keep straight to the point. Hopefully, it's Thank not God. as boring as the last one. <laughs> That's my fucking man. Hey, what up, boys? Hey, man. Uh, I'm gonna go up on stage. Thank you for coming. I love you. What up, Leah? You're the last chair. What up, Jenny? What up, Max? Archie? Hey, hey. Stanley? Yeah, sad, dude. I later tag, dude. <sighs> Oh shit. Yo, someone tried to assassinate me earlier, dude. There was like 30 vehicles that blew up, dude. Right around the corner. Wait, what you mean, dude? Both. Uh Wait, what do you mean by that dude? Oh, doesn't get any better than that then. <laughs> are you are you crying? You say what the fuck is wrong with you, dude? <laughs> <laughs> is he crying? Don't make me bitch slap you, dude. <laughs> is he crying? <coughs> Listen, if it goes bad, just pull your dick out and pretend it's a puppet, dude. Then everyone's gonna laugh and forget. <laughs> it. Should I watch this in the new One Piece episode? Um, One Piece, dude. You just crushed his dreams and now you're laughing? I didn't, I never asked for him to drop out. Wait, maybe I did. I don't know if I told I mean, the company like to make him drop out. Seven, like 60 people in the crowd, but that's a... Um, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, it's probably about, yeah, seven. You did? Years. Oh. That's okay. He'll still work with us, dude. You know? I wanted you to sit in the middle, but all right. I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> no, that was, that was the point. <laughs> hey, did you want to sit in the middle? Man, no, it's okay. This is fine. This is fine, Stanley. Hey, what's up, guy? What a frost ice hair. Yeah, thank you. You like it? Yeah, actually. It's, it's, yeah, thank wait, are you running for the, the mail to Mr. Yes. Whitetail? Yes. Oh. What? Oh, shit. Am I talking on the wait, mic? you're a cop, dude? No, he's the second, you know, he got second place. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the whole stage is mic'd. Hello, y'all hear me okay? Yeah. All right. 
welcome to the uh, i guess this would be the second round of the inaugural city council uh first term is coming to a close on the 20th that is uh, saturday next week so the elections will be open the ballots will be open until that point roughly around 7 p.m eastern on the 20th now we have uh, organized with the you know uh graceful uh, assistance and direction of uh miss thoroughbred over there siobhan uh this debate so y'all can better inform yourselves about the various candidates their platforms their opinions uh and you can just get them in the flesh and ask them something put them on the spot uh feel free once we get the questions we're gonna just start off pretty basic uh, i'd just like to get each person up here talk uh very briefly about like your party and your overall platform let's keep it in like a you know 30 second type elevator pitch uh and then we'll move on to some more substantive questions i would ask that you guys be respectful as you can obviously you may feel the need to yell things out at different times but let's try to keep some level of decorum all right uh, and with that we i guess we'll start with the uh, incumbent mr mayor uh, mr thoroughbred Hi everyone, uh, I'm Maximilian Thoroughbred. I am the current mayor of Los Santos. I was fortunate enough to be voted in the last time by a lot of you in the crowd. Um, <clears throat> I've spoken to many of you personally, one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, most of you know what I'm about, but for the sake of the elevator pitch, I'll hit you now with the facts. Uh, 15 minutes after taking office, I lowered taxes across the board. Uh, and after being gifted the, the ability to do so by the state, I lowered them even further. Uh, I stand for less work, more pay, meaning less time on the back of a sanitation truck or in a G6 truck, uh, and more pay at the end of the, the shift that you are doing to ensure that you are able to enjoy your lives in Los Santos, uh, not slaving away day in, day out. Uh, this pay raise applies to not only clean workers of the city, but uh, also doctors, EMS, uh, even the police department, um, and... That is what I will be operating on moving forward. I believe that the state has a large amount of money, and I believe that that large amount of money should be reinvested into all of you. Thank you. <sighs> do I just take the stage now? I think so. Yes, I did. <laughs> Yo, I don't know what I'm going to say, dude. Hello. I'm Michael Simone. I'm the current deputy mayor. Uh... The TLDR is, I do plan <laughs> on bringing back fishing, because a lot of people do want that. Uh, but at the same time, I also do feel like with the tools that we've now been given, there is a possibility for us to improve pay and help out people across the board. There is still some problem areas that we do want to improve. Uh, other than that, I do feel like as what we have done as the mayor's office is a pretty good baseline and we do want to keep that going we want to make sure that everyone is being treated equally and we try to look after everyone as well he's so uh, nervous <laughs> that's, that's about it he's so nervous it's cute yo what's going on guys my name's little tugs also known as danny Mello. Danny Miller, my government name, dude. That's why I like little tugs. I'm, you know, I'm just a 19-year-old with a dream. And I think, you know, instead of using all kind of boring words, my platform pretty simple. If a 19-year-old can understand it, then probably everyone can, dude. You know, it mean like you don't need the political speak. Um, I want to keep the police department accountable and I have shown that I can do this because I beat them back to back in court. And the first one that make them pay me money for trying to put the false charges on me. Love Medi's new want character. The this is not his, a new character. <laughs> they talk to you. They don't treat you like a piece of shit and assume you're just a dirty criminal, dude. You people matter. He's 19. And they work for you, not the other way around. And that include the government, dude. And that would include me if you vote for me, dude. I also want to see um, good pay for everybody. But I don't want us all to be no! tied down to this day-night bullshit. There should be maximum amount of time. Everyone 
work every week on their job. Let's say 20 hour. And then once you're done, that's it. So then you don't have to be competing with people that do climb 80 hours and you can pick and choose when you work. I also want to bring representation to the sewer people because there's a lot of people that live down there and the government trying to lock it down. And that's not fair, dude. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, I think I'm gonna piss myself, dude. You're good, man. You're good. <laughs> Hello, Los Santos. I'm Archie Archer. And I'm so grateful I was able to get this far. And I want to thank everyone I have met for their support. I am humbly dropping out from this race. And I am endorsing what? Maximilian Thoroughbred. Oh my god. I truly want what is best for this city. And I've come to the Let's conclusion go! that Max's vision aligns with mine and he is more experienced. <laughs> Having a second term will be more beneficial and productive for the city. I hope to have the chance to run again in the future. And I want to thank you all for your support again. I'll resume my civilian oversight board duties. And I look forward to continuing working with Max and the Council of Eight to help better the city. Thank you very much. Thank you, Archie. <clears throat> oh. Archie, I didn't make you quit, did I? <laughs> no, Stanley. <laughs> no. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> Archie, please. Wait, can they hear me in the quad? Yeah, even when you're whispering. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> All right, we're mic'd uh, up. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll do like, yeah, if y'all ever done like fantasy football, uh, we'll do the snake method. So uh, first up for this question will be Mr. Miller. Uh, so the question to all candidates one at a time is going to be, um, how will you affect change in the upcoming term uh, to ensure the stable growth of both our city and our values? So what are your primary things that you would change that you think uh, will stimulate growth and promote good values in the city? Mr. Miller, you're first. Oh, Mr. Miller. At least Mr. Miller. <laughs> I was about to say like, He made him first. Was. That's so fucked up on that. Um, I already <laughs> touched on maximum amount that you can work a week and just being able to choose when you can work. Because I think, you know, everyone being tied down to when the sun come up and come down you got to like pick and shoot like you got to stop what you're doing and not get to like hang out with your friends and do other things i think that's gonna make it so everyone on a lot more even playing field and they don't feel like they gotta work all the time that's gonna drive the prices down because you're not competing against multi-millionaire hunter and stuff the second thing though is i don't think there's enough people that get to try to start their business we got all these like property that abandoned. Like why? I think that the city should be able to lease that out and let people like start their locksmithing business and share the pay with the city to pay for those locations. Because the more business there is, the more vibrant the city is and more opportunity for people instead of just working for the state. Thank you. Uh, going forward, I think we need to make sure that everything across the board is kind of balanced out. So we don't want people to kind of flip flop. We want people to do what they, they want to do. RGB if you want to do sanitation, subs. obviously that should be your job. That if that's what you want to do, it should pay the equal amount as any other job. So going forward, we want that to be the same for every single sector. If you want to do D6, if you want to do crime, you want to do lumbering. You want the payout to be the same to to make it feel like you are earning the same amount as everyone else. As for businesses, we do want people to branch out. Uh, we don't want people to be locked down. If you want to start a new mechanic store, mechanic shop somewhere else, obviously we want that to happen. As of right now, I feel like the mayor's office has done what they could. 
it, to the people that don't know, a lot of these business proposals are already approved, but are being reviewed by another party. So, but we want to keep that going. It's not that you cannot get a business. We want businesses to go, but right now it's limited in terms of what we can do. We do support everyone wanting to do their own thing. And I feel like we should do the same going forward. So. I hate my life. <laughs> Hi. Uh, what are the uh, the main complaints about uh, our current administration has been? Where, where are the businesses? What's going on with those? What's happening? Um, I, I, I have to say this to everyone, basically, the... You hear that honking? Everyone. <laughs> Not sure it was light. <laughs> um, okay, let me let me ex let me explain the process that must be done in order to get a business. One, you submit it to the 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 mayor's office. Two, I have to submit a, after we review that. I have to submit that to the chief justice, and then after that. I need to, it needs to be submitted to the state, and then after that, it goes back to the Chief Justice, and then after that, it goes back to me. Uh, right now, we are at step three, i.e., it goes to the state. Um, my wife and I have worked hard and diligently in order to ensure that everyone who has an entrepreneurial spirit has had their business reviewed, be it for approval or denial, in order to then be pushed along in that process, because that is a, a big part of what's missing for the actual growth of Los Santos is giving the actual people of Los Santos the ability to operate out of these buildings, like Mr. Miller said, uh, with the with the machinery that they need, with the products that they want to make. Uh, and I have some news about that. <clears throat> uh, for for quite a bit of time, the council they considered making these businesses something that felons would not be able to enjoy, uh, in order to reward people who were uh, clean. Uh, citizens of Los Angeles, which is a feat in of itself. Um, however, I am pleased to inform you that in the future there will be opportunities for felons to own businesses like, for example, uh, a record label. Uh, you know, they don't produce like an actual product, right? But per se, like an actual like um, like food or you know furniture or whatever. But, you know, it's still a place for people to maybe get back on the right track and to still enjoy that economic prosperity while simultaneously um, rewarding people who are clean in order to give them different, it basically different access to the business circuit uh, within Los Santos. Uh, long story short, uh, term two for me is going to be focusing on getting that rolling in order to allow people to uh, truly prosper in Los Santos. Uh, thank you. <laughs> that was a hard one. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, and again, as we're doing this snake format, we'll start with uh, Max on this next question. Uh, question is going to be, um, the city council has heard a number of uh, requests recently related to the well-being pay you know maintenance and other things related to first responders uh what are your thoughts on the state of uh you know ems pd the first responders out on the front lines dealing with the city when it's on fire both literally and figuratively max you're up first uh for a long time First, ref uh, first responders were in a bad spot, and I would say that they still are in a bad spot. Um, I think that working EMS, for example, is probably one of the most, uh, unre uh, not unrewarding, but uh, most thankless jobs in Los Santos. And in order to compensate for that, when I was imbued with the, the powers by the state to do so, I pretty much instantly raised their pay. I think EMS is getting uh, $1,300 per hour right now, which is... Uh, more than doctors, more than lawyers, more than city council, uh, more than deputy mayor. Uh, I myself right now, uh, courtesy of my fiscal policy, which is, you know, minimum work, maximum pay for you guys. I'm actually making $1 an hour right now. <laughs> um, as for first responders, um, 
my wife and I have uh, my chief of staff have flirted with the idea of you know trying to really tackle the inherent problems at the uh, the LSMG. That's the Los Santos Medical Group. Uh, those are doctors, EMS. Uh, to figure out, uh, there, recently there was a resignation from a longtime uh, EMS chief and her girlfriend, who was the deputy chief, I guess. Uh, I will say right now that EMS as a uh, whole is fortunate to have uh, Mr. Happy leading them right now. Uh, he's a good man. I've spoken to him quite a few times. He's on duty a lot. Uh, his deputy's cool, too. Um, right now, what first responders need most of all is to, we need to respect their work and to ensure that they feel like their role in Los Santos proper is something that is is valued by everyone else because it oftentimes is something that is overlooked or taken for granted. Uh, I myself uh, have taken it for granted quite a few times. Um, I believe that one way that we as a group, uh, should you be interested in taking this challenge with me, is to uh, stop with the self-transport uh, it is dangerous. Uh, it, technically, it's illegal. It's reckless endangerment, which is a felony. Um, and that alone, you know, provided that there are enough EMS on duty, uh, will most certainly empower them to feel like they're actually out there making a difference. Um, as for the police, uh, who are also first responders, I did draft up the uh, the controversial controversial uh, police con continuity plan, which was a plan to finally give the LSPD some actual outside oversight instead of uh, hiding in their little cockroach holes waiting for the state to come down on them with a hammer when they finally fucked up enough times visibly for the state to come down on them. Uh, and it is with that power that the mayor's office has uh, finally given them the oversight that they need in order to ensure that they have the tools that they have to succeed. I still remember a, a meeting that I had with uh, all three of the LSPD captains the night before I put this up to the council vote, uh, the PCP, that is. Uh, and I remember uh, hearing Brooke Ruth suggest treason to me because she was uh, she suggested overthrowing the Council of Eight in order to uh, combat my idea that there would be any entity in the government that would provide oversight for the LSPD, uh, which, of course, was so disgusting to me. I kicked them all out of my office, uh, went to the council room the next day uh, and got the PCP passed in order to. Uh, I began attempting to correct uh, all of the blunders that they, these three captains had essentially done. Um, Ruth instantly <laughs> and without apology stopped signing onto duty because she was under investigation for treason. Uh, Turner, who had been absent for a whole month, uh, did show up briefly and continued to basically not show up and then eventually resign himself. Um, and the reason they did this is because in that meeting, good citizens of Los Santos, they told me to my face, uh, Mayor Max, it's going to take six months to have a functional chain of command. Six months from that day that I was speaking to them. And it was then that I knew that the PCP was something that was required uh, so that I could give the good cops of the LSPD the opportunity to be realized for their talents instead of fucked around by a bunch of power-hungry megalomaniacs who could not understand and admit that their attempt at a, a, tri a triarchy had just completely failed not only themselves, but the people of Los Santos. Uh, I look forward to continuing to working with the first responders, uh, the police included. Uh, thank you for listening. <clears throat> I I agree with a lot of things that Max just said. EMS as a whole is a thankless job and people do not seem to care too much about them. They are out there to try and save your life. They do come out when when you are in need and people don't seem to to <laughs> realize that. Uh I did, I talked to a, a few people not too long ago about going on a ride along because one one thing is hearing it from EMS and hearing it from people that how bad it is to go and do your job but another thing is is going out there and experiencing it because people don't seem to realize that we we need EMS we need them to save our life when you when you go out there and you hit a local and you eat shit they're there to bring you back and put you on your feet so you can go out back out there and, and do your thing 
And for some reason, people just do not, they, they take it for granted. They just, they shit on the people actually out there saving your life. It, it goes for both EMS, it goes for doctors too, that you, you go to a hospital, they are there saving your life and you're like, I, I don't want to be here, which is fair because nobody wants to be in the hospital. The hospital is not a nice place to be, but they're, they're there to try and save your life. They're trying, trying to make your life better. And I feel like people need to realize that. I do still plan, even if I do not get elected, to go out and ex experience this and, and just see how it is to be an EMS. In terms of the PD, like Max said, they were in a rough spot when we first got elected. I think personally that they're in a better spot. I think Aww. they're not perfect as of yet. I think there's still things that can't be improved. Uh, I, I don't think it's as bad as, as bad as it was a few months ago, but there's still, definitely still a lack. The problem is also that PD <laughs> as a whole is also a thankless job that people... This guy will explain, they, they shit on the this guy will so explain there's a, something there's a turnaround, five paragraphs which is not something that, that we want. We want people to stick around. Sentences. We want people to enjoy their, their job. We want people to not f uh, lose interest. Because the issue is that as of right now, people get their job. Somebody else has to teach them that <laughs> job and then somebody falls out. They have to <laughs> carry and take over <clears throat> that person's doggy boy. Like, up issues and 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 workload and it just keeps being an issue that keeps accumulating and we just never get to that point that we want to be but we want that there's something Thank that you, i boy. definitely want to improve going forward is that people want to go to go to work and do their job and not have people shit on them all day basically so check w dude for the first responders yeah <sighs> <laughs> Ahem. Ahem. Uh, I'm going to break it into the two different parts as well. Let's start with EMS. Uh, EMS should not be having to fight and struggle to like fix their uh, EMS ambulance because they already have a hard enough job. I think first off, state should be paying for that, not them having to pay from their pocket because they're the <laughs> ones that are truly trying to save our life every day. Secondly, they need to have a helicopter so they can save people that <laughs> get injured on like Mount Hilliard so they're not trying to kill themselves trying to climb up there with their ambulance and stuff. The third is I think one of the biggest problems that even the civilian have when it comes with the EMS is EMS go all the way to Polito and someone they get there and there's no body because that person probably waiting there for 15 minutes wondering if EMS going to come or not. And that's not on the fault of the EMS or the person that had to be rushed to the hospital by their friend because they don't want their friend to die. So I think the biggest investment outside of the ambulance and the, and the helmet chapter is a better like system where the person who calling 911 can know that somebody actually coming. So that way they know not to leave and they're not having to guess whether they got to take the, you know, the, um, you know, call the, the secondary local EMS or whatever you want to call it, dude. Um, now let's move on to the other thing. EMS saving lives. But there is a problem. I'm going to disagree with the two. The police department was today than it ever has been, dude. <clears throat> Some of these police officers are like children that need a babysitter to beat them over the head. <laughs> they have lost their complete discipline. They are shooting people without any reason. I want to point you at the court case from two days ago in which they shot up myself. They shot me hands up without a weapon in my hand while I was in the highway. And when the judge said, you wrong and paid me $20,000 for them trying to murder me, the response by one of the captain was, Maybe I should shoot him in the head instead this time, dude. <laughs> and I think some of you in the audience probably already also experienced this. You're just trying to do your job. 
doing your grime, doing your tow truck, and the police come and they treat you like a criminal. You're not even doing anything illegal. I have videotapes that will be released of interview from various police officers. It's going to be released in the next 48 hours. Some of them are going to shock you. In one instance, when asked, why is the mass murder of one police officer who killed, who shot at his own cops yesterday, why was he only charged with small crimes when others who have shot cops have been given so much? The answer was, those other people are criminal scumbag. But this guy, he a cop, and he just messed up a little bit. You're <laughs> going to see another video of an officer who pulled a gun on a civilian and when asked, why did that happen? The answer was, they were just having a bad day. These people, these police, they work for us. They, things need to change so they know they work for us, dude. And finally, in order to compensate for the anger they got, I will put a program in place where the people of Los Santos will pick instead of these bonuses that they get because they working a scoreboard and trying to stack charges just to like win some points and more paycheck. Instead, the people are going to vote who the best cop of the week is and they're going to get a turbo, dude, because we know that's what the police love. Thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, I do need to uh, just point out, and uh, you know, in fairness to your understanding as the public and the other candidates up here, uh, most people in the inaugural city council uh, were in favor of the concept of an EMS helicopter at some point. Uh, that was raised in the first week or so. All of us were. Uh, <laughs> yes. Um, I, I'm just being safe by saying, you know, most, if not all, uh, were in favor of it. Uh, the issue is, is that uh, currently the way that it is set up for PD and EMS, uh, they kind of uh, keep what they kill, so to speak. So much like you guys out there who are not given a budget for your social group or whatever else you take part in, uh, PD and EMS only make their own salaries and if they want to upgrade their equipment buy better cars things like that uh, They would do so the same way any of you do uh, so the state has effectively uh, Decided against issuing them large purchases like a helicopter for example uh, That being said uh, I have another question for the panel starting with uh, Mr. Miller there. That's silly. No, it's not bro. Um, so <laughs> what is your overall approach to fiscal policy uh, and what would you do to ensure the state budget stays balanced? And before Mr. Miller comes up here, I will offer some context here. Uh, in addition to what I've just said about PD budgets, you know, EMS budgets, uh, the way that it currently works in our economy is that all government salaries, so all pay everything that would be given out to PD, including potential budgets or anything like that, uh, it is all derived through tax revenue. Uh, there is no magical pool of money where the state will just, you know, sell off bonds and, you know, give us a cash infusion. If the state account hits zero, we're all fucked. Uh, so, you know, that in mind, how would you approach fiscal policy to make sure we don't hit zero uh, and end up in another crisis? Mr. Miller. Um, yo. I don't know about you guys, but I don't know what the fuck he just said, dude. All I know is we trying to get those paychecks and trying to be fair in how much money we getting. Okay, like fiscal, what the fuck, dude? Like, listen, dude, like we get a paycheck at the bank. We work hard. And if people need the money, like I'm sure like there's people that can like figure out what the heck these words mean. And, you know, put I'm going to put the export in place that can help balance all that. You know, instead of using these complicated words that, you know, just make things sound complicated, but probably a hell of a lot simpler. Thank you. <laughs> we want to make sure that the, the government still has a, as a budget as a whole. Um, as something like I said earlier, we want to make sure that everyone is enjoying that work that they do. So if, if 
our budget is running low. Obviously, we would ch make the changes that promotes a, a healthy work-life balance, but keeping it in a way where people can choose what they want to do. So if you still, again, want to work sanitation, you want to work G6, you want to work Grime, we make sure that you're still getting paid the same amount so you can keep that job. At the same time, we have been trying to promote events across the board. So if you do, if you do want to go out, you want to make an event, uh, all you have to do is basically just make sure that you note down your expensive expenses and we will make sure to give you the money back. That is something that I want to do going forward as well, because events is something that does drive the city. Having people doing concerts, uh, whatever else you really can imagine is something that we do want to promote. So that is something that we still want to keep there. But we also want to make sure that, again, you, you do the job that you want to do. We don't want to force you to do G6 if you are a person that is currently doing crime. We just, again, balancing it. Making sure that everyone is getting paid the same. Making sure that everything is, is balanced across the board. Thank you. Hi. Uh, right now, my fiscal policy, as previously stated, is less work, minimal work, maximum pay. Uh, I have been reinvesting the state's funds into ensuring that people who work uh, civilian jobs are being rewarded as much as is possible. This includes, uh, you know, stuff like senior bonds and stuff. Um, now, like Mr. Alan Crane said, huge fucking problem if that uh, that budget goes into uh, zero, because that means you guys no longer start getting paid. Uh, however, fortunately for all of you, I have done extensive testing with people from all over Los Santos in regards to these jobs. I've observed the trends and I have seen what needs to be done, when it needs to be done. Uh, right now, we are in a spending phase. This is to ensure that everyone is able to recover along with Los Santos economically, uh, and I foresee that being the case for the next couple of months uh, at minimum. <clears throat> Thank you. All right. Uh, you know, I had some other questions written down, but to be honest with you, uh, I think I've heard enough of the typical uh pitches and you know stances and all that political shit uh, i'd rather hear you guys ask some questions so uh if we could form sort of like a line towards the front here if anyone has any questions they'd like to ask of the candidates or a specific candidate uh feel free to uh do so up at the microphone there just one at a time thank you <laughs> hello can you hear me yes sir mm, yep yeah okay, i have one question for the candidate what are we gonna do to stop the blue on blue violence? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, which are you talking about the uh the cop yesterday that shot Captain Slacks in the face six times? Yeah, what are we gonna do about the PD so they stop shooting each other? Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure this is like never happened before. <laughs> <laughs> Like Is it ever happen again? Uh, I mean, he's in, he's in prison, right? <laughs> yes, yes. And he got fired, uh, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. So so no, okay. probably not. Okay. Well, actual question. Okay, I just wanted to stir you. Okay. When are you when are you going to abolish Dogtown, and when are you getting rid of it? Um, I don't know. Uh, I know you guys have some uh, some vocal concerns about Dogtown. Uh, I certainly am annoyed to pieces by Bobby Charles on. <sighs> Bobby, it's a mayoral debate. Hey, off the stage. Oh, Bobby. Fucking stage. Bobby. Fuck uh, you know what, Bobby? Charles. Bobby, what are you doing? Oh, well, oh, well, oh, well, oh, well, oh, just Bobby. speak, speak for a moment, Bobby, please. It's just like it's yeah. hey, hey, can everybody hear me on here? Hey, guys, 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 you don't. Oh yeah, where's Lenny at? Where's Lenny when you need him? Don't call him. Guys, you know. <laughs> what's, what's with all the concerns about my beautiful dog town? What's with all the concerns about dog town? The concern is you. When you and Carmine with oh. your guns, we get sent up and you gun us down like dogs. And you make fun of us. Oh, oh, oh. 
You're wrong, Dundee. You don't get gunned down like dogs. You get dun gunned down like maggots, Dundee, because that's what you people are. You never <laughs> learn. You're going to keep getting gunned. You're going to keep getting gunned down. <coughs> what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're not going to do nothing. And you're going to get something from the street. Fuck you, Bobby hey, Charles, you piece hey. of shit. Call me a maggot one more time, Bobby. Look at him. Look at him. Not even reform. Not even reform. They leave my penitentiary. So so rebellious. Alright. Um. Um. So listen. We all know Carmine and Bobby kind of a bit, dude. And they probably power tripping in Overdale. Uh, I gotta use this opportunity. Like, listen, dude. Like, uh, I think if you facing a lot of time in prison and you don't want to spend time with them, I think people, uh, people that be facing charges should be given a option to do like probationary work for like sanitation or some alternative. Because not every sentence should require you to have to deal with sitting and dealing with these guys in prison it's for God knows how long. Dogs. Shut the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Just beat Bobby's ass and uh, Carmine's ass. Wait. Just beat their ass. Right yeah, yeah. No, 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 uh, next question, anyone? Uh, I got a question. Sure. Is that who, who are you, sir? Oh, it's me, Matt Rhodes. Hi, Matt Rhodes. Are you Rhodes. speaking into the micro microphone, Matt Rhodes? Can you speak in the microphone? I think if he stand up on the stage, we can. Yeah, come up, come up on the stage and ask him. The stage. Oh, I picked it up. Oh, no. yeah, come up on just stage. Come, come up on stage. All right. Yeah, I'll do that. No, no, I'm not stealing. I'm not stealing. Um, I'll, I'll hand it back to someone. Uh, can, wait, can you hear me? Let me yeah, see. everyone, yes, everyone can hear you when you're on stage. We can there hear we are. Perfect. So, uh, hello, DeMayor. Hi. Matt Rhodes. I have a question regarding something you said earlier. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. Hi. In other news, yeah. um, earlier today you had mentioned that uh, you only get paid a dollar an hour? Uh, yeah. Okay, now is that something, was that just like a talking point or like? No. Was that something you did like very recently? Uh, I've been getting paid a dollar, uh, probably for like the past two and a half weeks, and that's that's courtesy of the way that I've uh, directed the state funds currently to uh, pay better for basically everyone else in the city. Got it. What was your pay prior to? Uh, I really don't know. <laughs> it's it's like it's not. I, I get paid based on how well the uh, the budget is doing. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Mm-hmm. So, so let me get this straight. Well, let, uh, let, 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 let me explain this to you very, very, yeah, very, ahead, very carefully. If if the state is making a lot of money at the expense of everyone in the crowd and you, uh, that extra money gets funneled into the mayor's paycheck. That's just the way that it works. <sighs> ah, okay. Uh, last question. If you had to sort of uh, guesstimate how much money you've earned within your term do you know how much that would roughly be um probably over the last three months probably about like 150,000 probably ish got it okay I guess that really isn't wasn't my last question how, how do you afford one of them carbonizers uh, I took it alone <laughs> Ooh. how much was the car uh $270,000 Mm, okay. Ish. All right. Are you are you my accountant, Rhodes? No, no. I was just curious. I'm just trying to figure out, you know, whether or not you're good with money or anything, or should be in charge. Uh, Shut up. Well, I, I'm 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 quite good with money, and more more than that, my uh, my wife, uh, former judge Siobhan Thoroughbred, is has a master's in finance. <laughs> oh, okay. That's me. Hi. <laughs> All right. Hello. All right. Is it safe to assume that? This is a package deal. If you were to be the mayor, would you be, still be the chief of staff? Of course. Got it. Okay. 
All right. Yeah, that's, that's the only questions I got for now. Okay. Did this motherfucker just interrogate your ass? Like, what the fuck, dude? Yeah. <laughs> well, welcome to my life. <laughs> Welcome to my life, dude. What do you mean? <laughs> it's my everyday, dude. Uh, hello. Can everyone in the crowd hear me okay? What up? Okay, awesome. Uh, hello, everyone. Name's Silas. Silas Moreno. I have a question for Mr. Thoroughbred. Mm -hmm. There was a recent incident where your Carbonazar was towed in front of City Hall yeah. as a result of an illegal park. Right. You, you, and... You're the one who flagged it. <laughs> I did not flag it, no. Okay, sure. Norman Adams didn't tell you to flag my car out in front of City Hall? Uh, no, I didn't flag it. Okay, sure. Uh, if I can continue my question. Yeah, please. Go on. Okay. <laughs> in the following days after that tow, multiple tow workers reported that their wages were cut by roughly 10 to 15%. Uh -huh. Can you clarify as to whether these two incidents are related at all? And if so, whether that goes against your campaign motto of less work and more pay uh so for a long time the uh and this this kind of goes back into what i was talking about with uh with testing uh the new powers that were imbued to me by the state towing at one point accounted for uh all uh, group six and grime combined was less uh it, it cost less to pay them out from the state budget than towing alone uh, and in order to stop the horrible hemorrhaging that was happening to the state account because there was some sort of error on the back end that was causing it to be basically charged like two times uh, or way more than it was supposed to be, uh, I did drop towing uh, almost immediately down once I realized that. So basically the way that the, it worked is at first I could not control towing pay. Uh, then I could control towing pay. And then I saw, oh God, towing is costing the state $10 million in seven days compared to the $7 million of Group 6 at Grime, I'm going to drop that immediately. Uh, and the 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 tow pay actually um, was dropped uh, well before I uh, had my car towed out in front of City Hall by you and Norman Adams and uh, Ophelia. <laughs> I can confirm, since I have access to the same things, that the sliders or anything hasn't been changed for ever. It's been the same across the board. I did raise towing today, though, uh, from 75% of normal to 100%, so... Hooray! <laughs> I retract my statement. <laughs> Great. Thank you for answering my question. I appreciate it. Hey, no problem. <clears throat> Is that Chris King? Oh my hey, hand, hey, Daddy. Hop on up. Yes. What's up, boys? Are we are we are we loud already? Are we loud? Is that uh -huh. is, is that Zolo? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What up, Zolo? Um, what's up? What's up, Max? What's your uh, what's your guys' question? Uh, I have a question for Tugs and uh, for the current mayor, but I'm gonna let Z get his shit on. Okay. Yeah, I have a question for this like 19 year old because <laughs> I want to know if he knows shit type shit, you know? Um, yeah, I got you, dude. Can you guys all in the crowd hear me, dude? Just like wave your hand. Like you just don't yeah. care. Yeah, what that dollar? Um, I kind of, I'm kind of curious. Like, what's uh, what's the pay for jobs gonna look like, and what do you, what do you have like planned for that? Absolutely, dude. Like, okay, the, like the question, like way before with the the fiscal, I don't even know what the fuck words they were using, but like, or the like the pay goes up and down or whatever the fuck. All I, I can tell you this. Uh, I work G six. Tier one, tier two, tier three, with a lot of my G6 friends like Alexander and Blondie and a bunch of the other cool people, dude. Um, I've also worked all the way up uh, in the last month doing grime and losing 60 weapon a week and building it back up. I've done tow trucking. Um, I've even done a little bit of sanitation. Uh, my point being that I've had a lot of experience with a lot of these jobs and I know what how each job have its own struggle you can look at some of the numbers and be like oh my god why making so much money dude but i also understand that why for example the that people losing entire days worth of work just because the the i don't know the get they won't take the package or something and then all the repair costs that come with it so i'm sure it's easy to just look at these like numbers and make it think that one job making more than another 
but I know the reality is a lot more complicated. And so not only with my experience that I got from working myself, but also by relying on people like Alexander, Bwandi, the people in the tow, the people doing the grime, um, that the amount people making going to be based on how much it costing them to do the work in the first place. Okay. I appreciate that answer. Thank you. My turn. What? <laughs> oh, uh, and yeah, yeah. And guys, um, whoever wins mayor gets a mayor song. Let's, I'm just putting that out there from now, you know, get like the best like song in the city. Fire. All right, go ahead, Chris. All right. I got a question for mayor dabs currently, sir. A long time ago, I was injured. I was hurt. Mm -hmm. A cop accidentally hit me, but I remember you stopping in the middle of your day to see if I...